my sexy bitches. Hey you guys, what's going on? Hope you're pretty good. Hey, what's up? Hope you're good today, guys. I'm all dressed up. I'm all dressed up. My camera is a bit off today. I don't know why. It's like I have to be over here. It moved. Moved, so it did. I'll have to adjust it another day, but got all dressed up. It's a bit cooler today, so I can actually dress up in this big sweaty outfit. Uh, I have the eye patch here. It's just, I can't really play with the eye patch because it hurts so much. Like, you only use one eye. Um, but anyway, welcome in guys, we're playing MGS3 today. I haven't played my PS3 in a while, I hope it's still good. It's probably gonna be... Um, I'm gonna skip that song, because I think that usually gives me copyright. But I mean, I'm gonna get copyright anyway. Cutscenes and whatnot. I think. I can't remember, there's certain specific scenes that you get copyright on in this. Get what? At least the green screen doesn't do too much with this. I think it's only the headband that starts. 
starts doing the headband with the green screen stuff. Do you guys hear me okay? Come on in anyway. Thanks for joining the stream. Jamie, Kyle, uh, Panama, Chris, Football Bonanza. I don't recall your name, but welcome in. Chris, how are you doing? Jacko, hello. I haven't played this actually in a few years, actually. I didn't realize how long ago it's been. It's been like two or three years since I played this on stream. Crazy how fast time goes. Like the last time I streamed this, I was in cosplay too, I think. Let me see if this works. Hopefully it still works. Can you hear me no problem? Alright, thanks Chris. Let me just see how the audio volume is. Look, even my controller's in camo. Look. Controller's in some digital camo. Um... It's not too loud. Usually when I play PS3 games, they're loud as hell. I turn it down just a fraction. storage yeah i could play that let me just start this game up here and then i'll try and find that track for you warhead storage yeah this one's a good track for you Good track. I don't know if we'll finish this today, but we'll try. Um, I'm going to play probably on hard or normal. Because it's like, I'm not doing European Extreme today. <laughs> get down. 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 I'll put you down. I'm feeling thirsty, guys. I need to drink. Ah. Uh oh, wait. We got the Snake Eater song here. Wait, does this play... I forget if that plays... Does that play during the game? Or do I need to play it at the intro? I forget. It's been so long since I played it. Look, 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 look. I actually did put water in this one point and was drinking out of it, like, during a Comic-Con. I haven't touched it in ages, though, so I don't know. How can you tell when these things are clean? Like, they're just plastic. Hard plastic containers. Ada Wong cosplay? <laughs> hey, if you buy the outfit for me, I'll wear it. Hello there. I can go back and watch that intro. I forget if it's um I forget if it's like if the if the Snake Eater song actually plays during the game cuz I don't want to play it twice. I'll just play it once. I mean, as good as it is, you know. Maybe it's only at the intro. What do you guys think in chat? Uh transferring Yes, Vita. Oh, it's been forever since I've had this. Let's see, do we have a save we can use? God, let's see how far, how long ago it was. 2020, yeah. And then originally 2014. Jesus, that's crazy. 
Very easy, normal, hard, extreme. Hard I've done five times. <laughs> Jeez. I guess I'll play on hard. Last time I played was 2019 on this difficulty. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, I thought it was twice, Chris. I think it's in the main story. I think it is. I might, I put on the eye patch like uh, maybe during the game sometime for like five or ten minutes. But I can't do it for the whole stream because like I feel like it actually did damage my eyes a little bit. But it's only because like you're like blocking your eyesight. Does the name Deep Throat mean anything to you? Nick. Yeah, we have that. We have that sound clip actually. <laughs> Snake. Snake. Oh, and yeah, thanks again, Kyle, for the donation at the start of the stream. Sorry, I wasn't uh, prepared for that. <laughs> you came out of nowhere. Thank you again for that. I appreciate it. As always, as always, you're too nice, man. You're too nice. Thank you. Helps the stream dream. Um, okay, I think everything's done, right? I posted something on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, I think we're good. We can just start. How many hours is that? 12 hours? Is that for the whole run? Oh, that must be just a single run. That's not for all five runs, right? No. Alright, let's try this. Air difficulty. Let's see. Does the name Deep Throat mean anything to you? Some of the boss battles. Yeah, maybe. Maybe when he gets thrown off the bridge. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think. After the end of World War II, the world was split into two, East and West. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. Not sure if I'm gonna watch all cutscenes. We'll see. We'll try. They're not as long as MGS4, so not too bad. <laughs> Doc, yeah, that guy's got so much money every stream. It's like, if I could get like a twentieth of what he gets a stream, I'd be happy. Flying over Pakistan, altitude thirty thousand feet. Approaching Soviet airspace. Twenty minutes to drop off. Commencing internal depressurization. Equipment check. Arm main parachute. All right. You ready to go? Drop zone still showing a high pressure mass. Cab okay. Good, we've got high visibility. God, this game is great. <laughs> Been way too long. Put out that cigar. Connecting oxygen hose to interior connector. Put on your mask. Anyways, know what he's doing? Approaching release point. Ten minutes to drop off. Hey, are you deaf? He said put out the cigar and put on your mask. And... Pressurization complete. Checking oxygen supply. Six minutes to drop off. Opening rear hatch. Oh, hell yeah. Sunrise. Hey, Eddie, what's up, man? Thank you for the 36 months, man. Six degrees Celsius. Two minutes to drop off. Stand up. You'll be falling at 130 miles per hour. Try not to get frostbite from the wind chill. One minute to drop off. Move to the rear. Activate bailout bottle. 
This is one for the history books. The world's first halo jump. Ten seconds to drop off. Like, like it would blow back so perfectly, like. Status okay? All green. Prepare for drop off. Countdown. Five. Four. Three. Hold up everyone? One. Spread your wings and fly. God be with you. I'd be getting so dizzy doing that. <laughs> I don't know if you could actually do that triple roll and then straighten up and midair like. Maybe if you're like really good at like. Jack, I've got some important news. Jack. The head of the CIA has finally given us the green light for the virtuous mission. Virtual mission? No, the virtuous mission. The virtuous. The future of our Fox unit depends on it. If it succeeds, we'll be officially organized into a unit. Virtuous mission. Sounds like some kind of initiation ritual. You know, don't get cocky. This isn't a training op. Right. So what exactly is this wonderful mission? Well, about two years ago, a certain Soviet scientist requested asylum in the West through one of our moles. His name is Nikolai Stepanovich Sokolov. He's head of the OKB754 OK Design Bureau. The, the hold up everyone run? That sounds really hard. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do it for this stream. If you're giving me $100, I could do it another time. The very same. On April the 12th, 1961, the Soviets achieved the first manned space flight in history. The Earth was blue, but there was no God. Well spoken. The rocket that carried Yuri Gagarin to orbit was the A-1, known as the Vostok rocket. Vostok. Sokolov is said to be the man most responsible for the multi-engine cluster used in that rocket. After Gagarin's flight, Sokolov left rocket development to become the head of the newly established design bureau. From a lowly technician to head of a design bureau, that's quite a success story. So why do you want to defect? It seems he'd become afraid of his own creations. Afraid? Call it a crisis of conscience. And for that, he left his country and his family behind and went over the fence? Not but exactly. One of his conditions was that his family was also to be... Does that mean you want me to hold up all the guards? Not like the bosses, because obviously I can't really hold up the bosses. Well, apart from maybe the end. I think I can hold up the end. I was the one who conducted the operation. Don't know about anyone else. Eastern side was still full of holes back there. Sounds really difficult. <laughs> what if I don't... Are you being strict on that? Or is it just like... Hold up as many as I can? It took him two weeks and more than 600 miles to get from the research facility in the Soviet Union to Berlin. He was in no condition to say anything coherent. And it was only a week later that we had something much bigger on our hands. The Cuban missile... Is this all the, the cutscenes that... um? That are not going to be in the uh, the next version of the game because, like, I think this is like something that they don't own or something that costs lots of money. But you haven't donated before, Lavars. Are you sure? If you're going to donate, you have to use um, Streamlabs too, because like YouTube will take like 30% if you donate 100 on Super Chat. US and Soviet forces went on alert for an all-out nuclear <sighs> war. Frantic negotiations were conducted through the UN's Emergency Security Council and unofficial channels to end the hair-trigger standoff. Finally, on October the 28th, the Soviet Union agreed to remove its missiles from Cuba. And so the world avoided a nuclear holocaust. I'm pretty sure this is the cutscenes that, like, in order to get the Soviets to pull their missiles out, Konami can't use in the next version because it costs too much or they don't have the rights anymore. Turkey. No. Because this is like, this looks all like real footage. Obsolete. And we were going to get rid of them anyway. They had no strategic value whatsoever to either the US or the Russians. The Turkey deal was a ruse, a cover story that was fed to the other intelligence agencies around the world. So what did the Russians really want? Sokolov. They wanted us to return Sokolov. You mean the Soviets pulled out of Cuba just to get their hands on Sokolov? That's right. What the hell was he working on? 
At the time, we had no idea. We were running out of time. It was either give up Sokolov or risk full-scale nuclear war. In the end, we had no choice. President Kennedy... All sending hundreds? The next day, I got Sokolov out of the hospital, handing him over to agents on the eastern side. Sokolov kept on screaming, save me, until he disappeared from my side. European extreme? Jesus. <laughs> you underestimate how good I am at this game. <laughs> I'm not that good. <laughs> I can... But like... Am I allowed to like retry or... Oh, that's gonna be hard to do. <laughs> that's a good challenge, though. That's a good challenge. I like it. Is it something to do with space rockets? Good challenge. No, missiles. Oof. Same technology. Can I do it though? You're right. We don't know the details, but it appears to be a new kind of nuclear device. For half a year now, the Soviets have been conducting frequent nuclear. <laughs> My name is Big Boss. Palatins. Something to do with the weapon, I assume. We're talking about a secret weapon so big that Khrushchev was ready to pull out of Cuba to get it back. Is Sokolov still in the facility? No. According to our intelligence, he's in Selino Yarsk. Selino Yarsk. About three miles to the west, it's known as the Virgin Cliffs. The Virgin Cliffs? Nice name for a virtuous mission. They moved in there <laughs> just recently. Why? Apparently, they're conducting a field test of the weapon, but it's our best chance to get him back. This mission would never have been possible if he was still in the research facility. This is our last chance. Sokolov must have known that too when he contacted us. Ah, Sokolov. R1. The mission is to infiltrate Selino Yask in the Soviet mountains, ensure the safety of Sokolov and bring him back to the west. Ah, uh, controls are all sticky. What the hell? Damn, analog sticks. If we don't get Sokolov back before that weapon is complete, we'll be facing a major crisis. The clock is ticking. <laughs> Only up. Oh god, I don't know if I could beat that. I saw people play it. The rescue circle off. Stand by at the recovery point. A recovery balloon will be dropped at that point. Helium will be pumped into the balloon to inflate it. The process takes about 20 minutes. Once it's complete, the gunship's arm will latch onto the balloon and pull it up. The Fulton surface to air recovery system. I'm familiar with the theory. Take it easy. Jungles? Uh, no idea, actually. Do you think Sokolov is up to it? The shock will be less than during a parachute jump, and the arm can handle up to 500 pounds. So you're planning on going over the border in a single combat talent? She's equipped with two six-barrel 20mm Vulcan cannons, as well as two 40mm machine guns. Sounds like she could hold her own against a battalion of tanks. Even with the fuel in the reserve tank, we're facing a four-hour time limit. If all goes well, it shouldn't take more than a few hours home in time for dinner but if anything goes wrong you'll be eating dinner breakfast and all the rest of your meals in the jungle in the jungle I decide if I want to listen to all the cutscenes or not I mean it has been a few years like and there's some really good cutscenes I think it's because they're in the sun um Trying to be like vamp. I 
Well, that's right. Yeah, the paint. I do have actual face paint. Where the hell is it, though? That's a good question. I think it's in my box over there. I actually completely forgot about it. <laughs> Black Forest Gatto. Mmm, cake. <laughs> Pretty tasty. Do you copy? You're already in enemy territory, and somebody might be listening in. From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll be referring to you as Snake from now on. You're not to mention your real name. Snake? What, you don't like snakes? What do you mean? Well, you've eaten one before, haven't you? In survival training. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I don't know if I'd ever order one in a restaurant, but... Be careful, <laughs> you might not have a choice. What about you, Major? What should I call you? Hey, Lan. Good Let's morning. See. I'll be... I'll be Tom. Call me Major Tom. This will be a sneaking mission. You must not be seen by the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. Is that clear? This kind of infiltration is the Fox unit's speciality. In other words, weapons and equipment to procure on site. I think they're reusing the well. voice lines, Eddie. Completely naked, just as your name implies. Great. Now I see why you asked me if I like snakes. I suppose calling me Snake was your idea of a joke, too. No. There's a good reason for that. I'll tell you later when the time is right. Gotcha. Getting back to the subject, how exactly am I supposed to feed myself? You've been issued a knife and a tranquilizer gun. Use them to hunt for food. You'll also find some medical supplies in your backpack. Yeah, about the backpack. I lost it in a tree on the way down. I see. Well, you'd better go back and get it then. You know where it is? No problem. I can see it from here. It's stuck on a branch. On a branch? To climb a tree, stand in front of a tree that's covered in ivy and press the action button. Action button. I'll be monitoring your progress over the radio. We can't risk violating Soviet airspace, but I'll be in the gunship. My frequency is 140.85. I'll give you a call if I need to talk to you. If you need to talk to me, use the send function. Okay, Snake, go get your backpack. All holdups. How am I going to do that, though? Like, do I... Am I still able to kill them after I hold them up? Uh, I haven't played this in so long. Okay. I think this is wrong, yeah. Mushrooms. Snake. Can't kill them. Oh. Eh. <laughs> but they'll still just... But they'll just get away like after a few seconds and then come after me. <laughs> How does that work? I guess I can only try. I see you've retrieved your backpack, Snake. To equip a weapon, it's necessary to take it out of your backpack. Um, In the survival okay. viewer, choose weapon from the backpack. 
Your available weapons will be displayed in a window in the upper left. From that list, choose the weapon you want to equip and press the enter button. Like these are like the Another only equipped items. I think games were from item. Super it. fun. Use the survival viewer backpack. It's super yep. fun how like they got the actors to like survival tell you how to play the game, mission. but in a really in-depth way. After you out in the field for a while, your stamina will start to drop. Crazy. If stamina gets too low, it'll affect your performance. You won't be able to shoot accurately, for example, and your wounds won't heal as smoothly. Keep an eye on your stamina so you don't run out. To recover lost stamina, you can hunt for local flora and fauna. You can use either your tranquilizer gun or your knife to hunt. My only weapon is a Mark 22 Hush Puppy tranquilizer gun? That's right. It's been fitted with its own suppressor. However, the suppressor will deteriorate every time you fire. Once its durability reaches zero, the noise suppression effect will be gone. So don't get too trigger happy with it. The suppressor's durability is shown. I can't kill them, but I can knock them out, I hope. Jesus. <laughs> what you're carrying now, you'll have to find as you go. I have to find my own weapons and equipment? Whose crazy idea was this anyway? Solo covert actions are standard Fox operating procedure. Really hard to play with this. <laughs> any traces of your presence. No weapons, equipment, footprints, probably... sweat, or bodily waste. The same goes for bullets and cartridges, too. Your presence in enemy territory is already a violation of international conventions Spicy of warfare. I see cricket. There aren't supposed to be any American soldiers in Russia. It could spark an international incident. You can't let anyone see you. You can't let the enemy know you're there. This is a stealth mission. You're a ghost snake in every sense of the word. And there'll be no rescue if you're captured. The military and U.S. government will deny any involvement in the affair. Then I'll just have to take care of myself, huh? I'm afraid so. You've been given a fake death pill for that purpose. SIS guidelines stipulate that soldiers on covert ops like this one be issued a potassium cyanide capsule. Tape it to your body so you can take it when you need to. How generous of you. Use it if you're taken prisoner by the enemy. It will send you into a state of false death for a short time. Fooling them into thinking that I'm really dead. So how do I come back to life? Just take the revival pill. You mean that thing they put in my tooth before the mission? That's the one. But be careful. If you remain in a state of false death for too long, nothing will be able to bring you back. Remember that. I'll keep it in mind. You said keep this was a solo mission, right? Right. I guess that means I can't count on any reinforcements. Correct. The mission rests entirely in your hands. A real one-man army. Relax. There's a support team ready to back you up over the radio. Who? I'll introduce them to you. This time, survival is of utmost importance. Utmost. The first member of the support team will be in charge of monitoring your physical condition, acting as a medic, so to speak, as well as recording your mission data. She's a member of Fox as well, and she's here on the gunship with me. She? She? Hello, Snake. I'm paramedic. Nice to meet you. Para. Medic? <laughs> As in a medic who comes in by parachute. Aren't you going to tell me your real name? Are you going to tell me yours, Mr. Snake? My name, huh? It's John Doe. And they call you Jack for short. You're a regular Captain Nemo. A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. After What's a week? your name? Jane Doe. Very funny. I wasn't joking, but I'll tell you my name only if you manage to make it back alive. My frequency is 145.73. She's also in charge of recording your mission data. Whenever you want to save, send a message over the reserved save frequency, 140.96. So saving lets me record my mission data. That's right. It also records the state of your health. Good to know. There's one more person I want to introduce you to, Snake. Huh? Speaking of snakes, you remember the boss, don't you? A legendary soldier and your mentor. Actually, it was the boss that got you the remember the boss <laughs> in the first place. She's going to be serving as Fox's mission advisor. The boss is. She also helped me plan this mission. She and I were at SAS together. Jack, is that you? How many years is it then? Man, boss. That's right. It's me. Such a commanding voice. Oh. Talk Love to it. Me. Let me hear your voice. It's been five years, 72 days, and 18 hours. You've lost weight. <laughs> you can tell just by the sound of my voice. 
Of course I can. I know all about you. Really? Well, I don't know anything about you. What's that supposed to mean? Why'd you disappear on me all of a sudden? I was on a top secret mission. Hmm. You didn't need me anymore. But there were still so many things I wanted you to teach me. No, I taught you everything you needed to know about fighting techniques. I taught you all I could. Boss team. The rest you needed to learn on your own. Techniques, sure. But what about how to think like a soldier? How to think like a soldier? I can't teach you that. A soldier hey, needs to be strong in spirit, body, and technique. Uh, this is piece the three. The thing you can learn from someone else is technique. In fact, technique doesn't even matter. What's most important is spirit. Spirit and body are like two sides of a single coin. They're the same thing. I can't teach you how to think. You'll just have to figure it out for yourself. Listen to me, Jack. Just because soldiers are on the same side right now doesn't mean they always will be. Having <laughs> personal feelings about yeah, the combat about that. <laughs> is one of the worst sins about you that. can commit. Politics determine who you face on the battlefield. And politics are a living thing. They change yeah. along with the time. October, I think. Yesterday's good might be tomorrow's evil. Is that why you abandoned me? No, it had nothing to do with you. I already told you, Jack. I was on a top secret mission. Top a soldier secret. has to follow whatever orders he's given. It's not his place to question why. But you're looking for a reason to fight. You're a natural born fighter, but you're not quite a soldier. A soldier is a political tool, nothing more. That's doubly true if he's a career soldier. Right and wrong have no place in his mission. He has no enemies and no friends. Only the mission. You follow the orders you're given. That's what being a soldier is. I do whatever I have to to get the job done. I don't think about politics. Politics. That's not the same thing. Bullshit. Sooner what or politics later, is. your conscience is going to bother you. In the end, you have to choose whether you're going to live as a soldier or just another man with a gun. There's a saying in the Orient, loyalty to the end. Do you know what it means? Being patriotic. It means devoting yourself to your country. I follow the beach here and the top brass. I'm ready to die for them if necessary. The president and the top brass won't be there forever. Once their terms are up, others will take their place. I follow the will of the leader. No matter who's in charge. People aren't the mm. ones who dictate the missions. Then who does? The times. People's values change over time. And so do the leaders of a country. So there's no such thing as an enemy in absolute terms. The enemies we fight are only enemies in relative terms. Constantly changing with the times. As long as we have loyalty to the end. There's no point in believing in anything. Even in those we love. And that's the way a soldier's supposed to think. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty. There's so many the mission, Jack. enemies. All right, but do me a favor. What is it? Call me Snake. Snake. Oh, right. Your code name is Snake. It suits you well. That's right. The legendary unit that the boss put together during World War II was a snake. The Cobra unit. A group of heroes that brought the war to an end and saved the world. As long as you've got a legendary hero backing you up, you'll be fine. Isn't that right, Snake? Yeah. I can't think of anyone else I'd rather have with me. Oh, and one more thing, boss. Yes? It's good to hear your voice again. Same here. After all, who knows if either of us will make it out alive. Snake, you are always best at urban <laughs> war. <laughs> who knows if either of us will make it out alive and, and he's like, wait, what do you mean? You're somewhere else, right? <laughs> Those CQC techniques I taught you are sure to come in handy. CQC? Close quarters combat, huh? I've been in the Green Berets for the past few years. I'm probably pretty rusty. Not to worry. I'll be here to help you remember. Fails. After all, this is your first actual survival mission. I'll be supporting you over the radio. Where are you, boss? Next to the Major? The boss is communicating with us by radio from aboard a permit-class submarine in the Arctic Ocean. Sure she is. Frequency is, is 141.80. Call me if you need my advice on battle techniques. Gotcha. I don't believe you. Your mission is to retrieve Dr. Sokolov. Dr. Sokolov is being held in an abandoned factory located to the north of your current position. 
Avoid heavy combat and don't let anyone see you. Don't forget that this is a stealth mission. Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I have like face paint that I could put on my face, but I need to go outside later, so I need to kind of not do that. <laughs> Commencing virtuous mission now. Now. Let me just check my inventory again real quick. X to save. Right? Saving the game, Snake? I guess I could save. Let me just... Our disk drive. Come on, come on. Did 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 twenty fourteen. I'll write this. Are you up and save, damn it. Jesus, look how long it takes to save. Hey Snake, you ever heard of Godzilla King of Monsters? No, what is it? It's a movie. You haven't seen it? Nope. It's about this monster called Godzilla. Alright, I don't need to listen to that. Oh snake. Give me that snake. Easy gun. Why do I have that? I thought that's... I don't know how I'm gonna... I don't know if I'll be able to do that hold up one. Because, like, there's so many enemies in some areas. Especially on European Extreme, there's, like, even more enemies. And they're even more alert. Of course, there is other people that have done it, but... That's because those people have played this game way more than I have. Remucci. Okay, can I look at a map or something here? Hold on. Start. Map. Remucci. I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm just making it up. Shit. Back in there. Alright, I got the Patriot. And I should have... Yeah, Stealth. Wait, do I not have the bandana? Do you get the bandana in this game? I forget. Blending into the natural habitat. Raiden, you're brilliant and you got here all by yourself. Armed with fire. I've spotted two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK 47s and grenades. Grenades. Snake, your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. Yeah, we know. We can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy? is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? Fine out. The, major <laughs> yeah. the point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success five, of the five, mission depends on how pineapples. well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting camouflage from the survival viewer. The uniform option lets Tiger you pick your stripe. uniform, while the face option lets you change your face paint. 
Choosing camouflage that blends in with your surroundings will help you conceal yourself more effectively. Also, don't forget that anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. If you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. But if you crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. Yeah, sure. Lies. You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot and vice versa. I hope like the, the key camouflage is, is really easy to use in the remake because you, okay? you don't want to be like going into inventory constantly trying to like change your camouflage. Like there should be a button so that you can press that's like pick the best camouflage or some shit. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, the infinity paint. <laughs> I forgot about that. Brown one gives you infinite O2, and the green one gives you infinite grip. You got Raiden. That one just makes you look pretty, doesn't it? I always love the zombie one. It looks so cool. Ah, look, this is my outfit. Hell yeah. Look, we're buddy snake. We got the tiger stripe together. Leaf is stronger. Oh wait, isn't the leaf? But oh, then we got the ends camel. The ends camel blends into like everything. Fierce camel is not good because it drains you. Stinky camel. Flecturn. <sighs> Hold up enemies are punching the groin, yeah. It's really hard to get that right though, because sometimes you just punch them and then it doesn't hit them in the groin. 90%. Can't see me, fool. I am one with the ocean. I mean, the forest. <laughs> huh? Oh, shit. Who is that? Who's that? Bullshit. Ah! Kidding me, buddy? Uh. Is it circle? Square, hold on. How do you grab him? Oh, circle, right. I was pressing square. Ah, yeah! Just got too uh, excited and uh, went after that other guy. I think. Just my imagination. Huh? He's over there. What's wrong? Huh? Who's that? Ah! <laughs> He's like right on top of me. Nothing else. This is a stealth mission. Stop seeing me, alright? <laughs> Seriously, how many more enemies can be in this area? This has got to be the limit, like. Dun, 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 dun. 
nick 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 I'm crushing the hold up <laughs> the hold ups right now yeah <laughs> Really? What the fuck, dude? Oh my god. I keep pressing square to hold him, but. Answer me. The crocodiles are ferocious. Who speak? Who answer me? Who speak? Who answer me? Damn, crocodiles. <laughs> Okay, that's the last dude. All right. <laughs> My hold up. Think you see slam on them? It feels good. See him now. Is this where the terminal G's are? That first guy just didn't bloody see me. Baloney. I was like behind him and he suddenly saw me. It wasn't that behind him. Well. Yeah, that's a grenade in here. Just grenade this guy. Down, down, down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying, yeah. So you grab them and then you push them down. Yeah, I'll try, I'll try this section, although this section is still a bunch of enemies. Oh, wait, I can't use this hornet's nest if I'm holding them up. Wait, am I allowed to use the infinity paint? Probably not, right? There's like two guys coming over the bridge, I think. To try and get this guy right now. Dude, why are they seeing me? What? Hold on. Let me die and check. Dude, what's going on? I'm going like super slow and like he's still Hold on, I need to do some more testing here. This is bullshit. Dude is like instantly seeing me from behind. Oh, I have to go this slow, right? Okay. Freeze. Ah! No, you're supposed to stay down, you jerk. Freeze. Okay. See, that's what you're supposed to do, right? So they stay where they are. Alright. I understand that, but... <sighs> it's just that first guy is annoying me, so... <laughs> he fell off the side, nice. I pressed X. Damn it, man. Controls are misleading.
Caution. HQ, HQ, please respond. What's wrong? HQ, respond. This is HQ. What's going on? Respond. All down. There's something wrong. Support unit. Confirm their status. Sorry, I'm just messing right now. Uh. Aim support units. How smart this damn AI is. Gonna wake up those guys. There's no point in me shooting them, actually. How do I get the Flectarn outfit again? I completely forget how you're supposed to get this. USA! 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 Oh look, I'm in Germany. I can wear this one. <laughs> There's no Irish one, so I have to use the Italian one. Soviet Union. <laughs> it's even funny that they put that in here. Good stuff. Let's bring them all over here. Maybe I can, like, hornet nest all of them in one go. Yeah, once they see this guy on the ground over here. Yeah, so he just stays there once you hold him up. Okay. See, I've never done a hold up only run. That's an interesting challenge for sure. On European Extreme, though, I don't know, man. There's some areas with so many enemies. It's gonna be impossible. Can you tell him to shake while he's on the ground? That bridge is shaking like crazy. Careful now. Try it out on normal mode. What hold up? What's wrong? Yeah, but you want me to do it on European Extreme, so I have to at least try. Every area, though, there's like a bunch of areas I'm thinking of. Like the area in the mountains. There's some enemies I can't really do that to, is there? Maybe? I don't know. I guess it's all about trying and seeing. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. I didn't get rid of the rest of them. <laughs> He's running after him. Matter if I go down there, it's just a machine gun that Rasvet. That was like 
way too long and it took me to get past that area. I was just messing though, so it's fine. That scene with Sokolov after this bit is awesome. I love it. Where he kicks everyone's ass. Major, I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This He's place is a dump. Place is a dump. I can't see Sokolov from here. The security is pretty tight. Interactive cutscenes like this game is so ahead of its time. Posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. And do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. That all? Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. Is Sorrow? Yeah. Because the boss is Ocelot's dad, no? Or mother, sorry. I think. Right? No, I'm not sure. Damn, I don't have my thermal G's on. Hey, Loxley. Sorry for being so late. I know, I was waiting on you and everything. See, like, look at all these enemies, and there's even more on, like, European Extreme. Kind of nuts. I mean... But, like, usually I do a challenge for fun, but if, like, someone's donating, it's also a bit of inspiration. 85, they usually don't see me. Let's see if I can get this guy here. Huh? Huh? Who was that? Who's that? Damn, I hate when they see you, because like you can't really hold them up. You can't hold them up after they see you. It's fucking bullshit. Hey. Damn it. I'm just doing this for fun. But, you know. fucking, fucking three more dudes coming. They're definitely going to spot me here. Huh? Right there. I keep pressing R1. I think I'm mixing up other games as well. Shh, guys. It's a sneaking mission. Stop shooting guns at me. You do know that, right? Oh, I was waiting for him to do that. No. Schmexy, thank you. And the friggin' eye patch is making my head so itchy. Can I like restart an area in this game? If I leave and come back, I think they're all gonna be asleep anyway, right? Unless I just die or something, kill myself. I just wanna try this once more. Shotgun, even though I Get to use it for like one more area and then I all lose all my weapons once again. <laughs> HQ, please respond. This is HQ. Patrol here. We've lost sight of the intruder. Going into high alert. Oh, but I no. oh well I mean like the worst area would <laughs> what am I sitting on the ground for? 
Oh shit, dude. There's a way here you can like jump out that window. Let me see if I can do it. For fuck's sake, game. That didn't work. Climb up. There it is. Okay. I love how they're just like pumping me full of lead and I'm just like throwing them on the ground. Like two seconds. Yeah. All right. Oh, great. It's room. Oh, I never did that. Is that actually doing? It's late now, though. <laughs> hey, Swift. I look beautiful, do I? I need to take off my... I need to take off my gloves, because it's like, so hard to play with them. <sighs> you must be Sokolov. Are you one of Volgin's men? You'll never get it from me. No. I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Your CIA? Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. <laughs> Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Who's they? Colonel Volgin of Gru. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Never, never heard, heard of him. He's a member of the army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite this is that footage again. ...from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far. But the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner, and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. Rumbling away. A certain away. group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the enemy. No, I know he's the Overthrowing Khrushchev and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. Thanks for joining the stream. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812 known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. Hope you're doing well, Loxley. How's it going? The intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then... The soldiers outside. Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process, or 
our soul would see. Vulcan will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. Yeah, all is well, Luxley. By the way, your Russian is superb. Where did you learn to speak it? <laughs> From my mentor. Is that so? America is truly a frightening country. Having second thoughts? No. I have no love for this place. Let's go. Who Let's said I'm fair? Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? I managed to get past them. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to see myself, Loxley, about that. <laughs> it's so obvious. <laughs> I thought this guy tries to be sneaky here. Such a goofy sense of humor. <laughs> Bog boss. Hey, Marissa. <gasps> like, why are these guys so stealthy all of a sudden? This is just what funny with this cutscene, like. Freeze! <gasps> they weren't before, but now they are. <laughs> what? Stupid. So this is the legendary boss. Huh? from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Huh. What's a Gru soldier doing here? Soldier? He's the Ocelot commander. Heh. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. Don't you forget it. Why didn't they just shoot him there when he's like acting the pawns? <laughs> Sokolov is ours. Doing all these sudden movements. Like. <laughs> An ocelot never lets his prey escape. What? his hash just so it would fall off again. Hmm. Sure, buddy. Sure. Blood all over the hat. 
can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it is for the Gru. <gasps> Sokolov, take cover. Huh. You're not the boss, are you? <laughs> Crew operatives. What is that stance? Huh. That gun. <laughs> 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 If you're not the boss, <laughs> then die. <laughs> How do you already ran away? Leave it. Shoot the other one. Wish you could do that move in the game. Just like fling him over your shoulder. first place you tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil that's more of a revolver technique you filthy american dog <laughs> 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 take that also yeah punk but that was some fancy shooting you're pretty good. Pretty good. How's it going? Ugh. <sighs> <sighs> Major, do you read me? I read you. Snake, are you all right? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov, too. Apparently, they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgan's. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're hey, counting on you. Pepe. Hello. Should we kill Ocelot here, guys? <laughs> Just to get the... To get the... Tea bag ocelot. 
The Ocelot, what's that? Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's for beating me up in uh, MGS4 in that cutscene that I don't like. You created a time paradox. The snake. You can't go changing the future like that. <laughs> you can't go changing the future like that. Hold on. Let me just, uh... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Let me just get that out of the way. Where the hell is Sokolov right now? He's, like, disappeared. No. All right, now for some long ass cutscenes. You okay? Those men were from the Ocelot unit, Spetsnaz. Yes. The best crew has to offer. They're coming for me. Coming for me. Finished. Calm down. I'll get you out of here, I promise. And we've got some of the best backup we could ask for. Look. That's what they were making to build. Yes. The Shagahod. The treading behemoth. A tank capable of launching nuclear IRBM. It can launch nuclear missiles from that kind of terrain? Oh, yes. And without support from friendly units. A nuclear-equipped tank capable of operating solo. Nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Is that thing finished? No. This is only the end of phase one. It won't be truly finished until we complete phase two. Phase two. The weapon's true form. If it is completed and the Colonel gets his hands on it, it will mean the end of the Cold War. The end of the Cold War? Yes. And then the Age of Fear will truly begin. And the start of the Hot War. War. I had no choice but to cooperate. I didn't want to die. I wanted to see my wife and child again in America. Please, take me to America. Quickly. They cannot complete it without my help. Got it. Let's go. Where did all this fog come from? Boss. Lori Allen. Shaky bridge. As if Sokolov just fell off. <laughs> Oops, Good plot day. is over. He's dead. <laughs> what are you doing here? Sokolov comes with me. The boss. Huh? 
The pain. Hornets. Vibration from the controller, I'm telling you. My friends, let us fight together again. I have waited long for this day. We will fight with you once more. Once more. Welcome back, boss. Now that all five of us are together. It's time we go to the depths of hell itself. Itself. It's raining blood. Sorrow. Is he crying? <laughs> Tuamara. Ah, what a joyful scene. <laughs> Colonel Vogan. I love this guy. <laughs> Welcome to my country and to my unit. Boss, what is this? I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift for my new hosts. Recoilless nuclear warheads. These will make a fine gift for me. This can't be happening. Who is he? <laughs> That's why he's standing there. Stands so funny. Can't be happening. Are we taking him with us? No, this one is still just a child. Too pure for us cobras. He has not yet found an emotion to carry into battle. What are you talking about? Think you can pull the trigger? Ow. Ah. Ouch. He's seen my face. We can't let him live. If Khrushchev finds out about this, we're finished. He's my apprentice. I'll take care of him. <sighs> Jack, you can't come with us. His face like oh shit
Magneto? No, he's not Magneto. The new blood has been rejected. The new blood. Head is killing me. I gotta take off this bandana. Are we for done here? Now onto Sokolov's research facility. All right. is ours. Drift away. My place is with them now. Place with them now. Hey, nice. How are you doing today, buddy? Answer the codec. Snake, can you hear me? Yeah, just barely. Snake, listen to me. You need emergency medical treatment. Can you move? You've got to get those wounds treated. Hang in there. All right, let's get you fixed up. Paramedic? Okay, Snake. Just relax and it'll all be over before you know it. Ooh. Stay with me. I've seen people in worse shape before. Think you can handle it? Major. The boss. She's defected. We'll talk about that later. First, we've got to get you patched up. Okay, here we go. And he doesn't even sound surprised. First, open the survival viewer with the start button. If you select cure, you can start the treatment. Healing is divided into treatment using medicine with the item window button and surgical treatment using the weapon window button. Your injuries include a fractured left elbow and rib bone and lacerations on the upper <laughs> arm. In that viewer, it's like 999 of everything. They <laughs> He's got like fixed using surgical treatment. a billion items. Move the healing cursor with the left stick to the affected part of your body. Once you've selected the affected area, hold the weapon window button and use the left stick to select the medical item and then press the inner button. With this method, you can use items to help your recovery process. Yeah. To treat a bone fracture, first secure the affected area with a fastener and then wrap it in bandages. That should do it. For lacerations, you'll need disinfectant to clean the wound, sutures to stitch it up, styptic to slow the flow of blood, and bandages to wrap the wound. If you do everything I mentioned, the wound should heal completely. Heal completely in one go. Understood? That's quick. Yeah. Stay with me. Go into the survival viewer and treat those wounds. Good, no. Okay, cut. Where's the bullet? They're all cuts. Okay, this is a broken bone here. Uh, bleeding, no bandage. Okay. Infectant, I think. Suture, bandage. All right. The broken bone. Did it. I feel all better now, guys. Oh, this would hurt so much. Ow. Ouch. 
Actually, can you actually do that in real life to yourself? Do you have enough force in your body to be able to do that? Just don't know. I just don't know. Not that I ever would ever try now, you know. <laughs> I want to break my bones on purpose. To experiment. Bandana! Yes! Good job, Snake. We're coming to get you now. Just Good. stay where you are. We'll drop a recovery balloon. Can Ooh, you set it up? Recovery balloon. <laughs> Doing good, nice, nice. Get to the chopper. Do it now. Five helicopters carrying that thing. Would that even be possible? Jesus. That thing looks way too heavy for five choppers. Hey, Roughneck, what's going on, you badass? Okay, Roughneck. I hope it all goes well. <laughs> he looks so sad, Ocelot. and her cobras I have both Sokolov and the Shagohad what are we going to do with the girl who is she apparently she's Sokolov's woman So fast, my dear. A kiss of death. You KGB. We may be able to use her. She has spunk. <laughs> You've got balls and spunk, and I like that in a woman. Shall we take her back to the base? Perhaps we should. We have no further use for Sokolov's research facility. I think it's time I gave this marvelous new toy what? a try. Colonel, even if they are our enemies, they're still our countrymen. But it won't be me that pulled the trigger. But it is you. To nuke your fellow Russians? <laughs> Remember the Alamo. Colonel! Boom! You're close. Give them to me. Now.
I think him doing that is why... Is, isn't it why he has to kill the boss in the end? Because he actually used the nuke? Could be wrong, though. Ugh, God, the saving takes way too long in this. And PS3. We take saving for granted nowadays. It's not as slow as this. <laughs> God, it's almost 10 years since I played this. First. Here it is. Now, oh, here we go, guys. What a thrill. With darkness and silence through the night. What a thrill. I'm searching. Is this how you dance? No. Such a James Bond intro. <laughs> it's so good. Wasn't that much hype in chat for the song, guys? What happened? Everyone got distracted or something? Currently flying over the Arctic Ocean, altitude 30,000 feet, approaching Soviet airspace, arriving at the designated drone launch point. Drone oil pressure and voltage are nominal. Payload oxygen supply is nominal. Power supply to payload First oxygen game? system shows no problems. What do you mean? No gusts. All systems go for drone detachment. Snake, we can't risk a halo jump this time. I'm on the third game. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm confused. We can't get as close to the ground as we did during the virtuous mission. So instead, we'll be using one of our newest weapons. Snake, you're being given an honor on par with Alan Shepard. This is our last chance. Show your patriotism. If you fail, you'll be back in a hospital bed again, waiting for the firing squad. 
firing squad. That's not very nice. <laughs> if you fail the mission, you're already dead. It's like, gee, thanks. Do me a favor and tell the suits about visiting hours. I'll never get better with them assaulting me day and night with their questions. Must be part of the top brass's inquiry. More like an interrogation. According to them, I'm a traitor and an accomplice to the boss's defection. They're just looking for In the escape. first game, yeah. Well, this is a long game. <laughs> after you too. Have you never seen this game, Kyle? Let's just say neither one of us is going to be made a national hero out of this. Does this mean Fox is going to die? No. This Fox is still one step ahead of the hounds. The reason I came to see you today... Jack, it's time for Fox to clear its name. What are you talking about? The situation has changed. We still got a chance to come out of this one alive. Yeah, what kind of chance? Don't get too excited. Here, have a cigar. It's Cuban. Cuban, eh? This morning, I had a meeting with the CIA. They decided when they're going to execute us? No. Something even bigger. Even Yesterday, bigger? Yesterday, the White House received an unexpected call. President Johnson? Yes, I hear you, Mr. Chairman. Well, it's Victor it's Sullivan. <laughs> call from Khrushchev to President Johnson. From the head of the Soviet Union? That's right. A few days ago, one of our country's main design bureaus, OKD-754, was destroyed in a nuclear explosion. At about the same time, our anti-aircraft radar picked up a signature that appeared to come from one of your military aircraft. Does any of this sound familiar to you? In retaliation, I have placed our armed forces on secondary alert. Depending on your response, I may be left with no choice but to order the military to maximum alert and unleash Armageddon. With the help of your predecessor, hey, I was able to survive Cuban incident. But my power is not as great as it once was. Was I am to survive this crisis, I must have your full cooperation. I should have contacted you myself. Did you know that one of our soldiers defected to your country a week ago? No. So you haven't heard that? The man who arranged the defection was a Gru colonel by the name of Yevgeny Borosovich Volgin. Volgin? Of the Brezhnev faction. Go on. Who is the soldier? Was the soldier? Her name is the boss. Boss? He's a That's me. Legend. I mean, During no, it's World not. During World War II, <laughs> she was the one who led us to victory in that war. In Russia, you know her as Voyevoda. Voyevoda. The boss? The mother of your special forces? Yeah, that's the one. And she took two miniature nuclear shells along with her. The boss took two miniature nuclear shells? I'm afraid so. I believe they were a gift for her new hosts. The Davy Crockett Atomic Battle Group delivery system was completed two years ago. Serious problems were found with the launcher's range and precision. Although they were mass produced, they've never been deployed in battle. But Sokolov's research facility was completely wiped out. The whole area is polluted. I can only offer you my deepest condolences over this terrible tragedy. Terrible. So, the boss, with Colonel Volgan's help, stole two experimental nuclear shells and took them with her as a gift when she defected. Then, shortly thereafter, Sokolov's design lab, a top secret military research facility, was destroyed by one of these weapons. Am I right so far? Yes, that's correct. And the American government denies any involvement in the affair. Is that right as well? That's correct. We were not involved in any way. Then what was a U.S. military aircraft doing on our radar screen? It was clearly in a violation of our airspace. And yet you say it was not acting under your orders. That's correct. You expect me to believe that this was all the work of a single soldier? 
I yep. don't know what else to tell you. Hey, Genji. Hello. Insist that this is all a ploy on your part. I've said it once, and I'll say it again. Our government had nothing to do with it. And I would like dearly to believe you. However, I'm afraid my power over the military has weakened since the Cuban incident. I will need some kind of proof that this was not the action of the American government. Mechanic? You have one week. You must catch the boss yourselves and recover the remaining nuclear device. Nuclear device. Then you must find some way to prove your innocence. Prove our innocence? Yes. Preferably something painful. Prove to me that this is not merely another one of your tricks. The boss should be close to Colonel Volga. How about a little co-action? I would not expect too much if I were you. The political situation here is unstable. And Colonel Volkin is a member of the Brezhnev faction, which seeks to topple my government. One week. You have only one week. And if it is not too much to ask, do too something much about Volkin as well. Yes. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. It means nothing. Call it a modest gentleman's agreement to ensure our continued what if we can't prove our innocence? Then I will be unable to restrain the military. I will be ousted, and they will seek their revenge. A nuclear attack on the United States? I leave the disposal of this situation entirely <laughs> to your discretion, Man on man action. President. <laughs> disposal? If you fail, it will mean the beginning of a new world war. World to war. Put it simply, in order to avoid a full-scale nuclear conflict, we have to prove that America was not involved in that explosion. We? And eliminating the boss ourselves will prove America's innocence. Right. The higher-ups have decided that you're the only one capable of pulling this off. You were her last apprentice. Screw this one up, and we'll both be six feet under. There's no choice. Six feet under. Are the Russians going to be helping us? The KGB has promised to lend us one of their communications satellites. <laughs> you and I can Stop. talk to each other. Oh, hell yeah. That's it. You mean They've Kikichi. also put us in touch with a couple of insiders. Who's this? <laughs> there was a defection in September 1960. Do you remember it? You mean the two NSA code breakers who went over to the Soviet Union? Precisely. Since then, they've apparently been training with the KGB in exactly this kind of situation. Their code names are Adam and Eva. I've been told that Adam has infiltrated Volgin's ranks. We've also arranged for him to provide you with an escape route. You'll need to rendezvous with him when you get there. Mark three or something. Uh... Unidentified aircraft detected. Altitude 30,000 feet. That, does, that guy doesn't sound Russian to me. Definitely doesn't sound Russian. It's fast. Estimated airspeed exceeding Mach 3. Bearing south. I'm about to lose it. Mach 3. Likes tumbling, I tell you. Tumble, tumble, tumble.
Playing with the earbuds actually makes me look like I have a Kodak. <laughs> This is Snake. Do you read me? Loud and clear. Glad to see you landed safely. I got blown pretty far off target. Snake, let's go over your mission objectives one more time. Rescue Sokolov. Find out what's happened to the Shagahod, then destroy it. And finally, eliminate the boss. Eliminate the boss. This mission will be codenamed Operation Snake Eater. Oh yeah. Because I'll be taking on the boss in our Cobra unit, right? Don't forget about Colonel Volkin. I'm not a hired killer. I know, but that was the Kremlin's demand. Demand? You mean it wasn't just a request? What's it to us if the Khrushchev regime is threatened by the Colonel and his faction? If supporting the current regime helps us avoid a nuclear exchange, then that's what we'll do. And what are the CIA's demands? Our priorities are the rescue of Sokolov and the destruction of the Shagahod. Roger that, Major Tom. Hold on, Snake. What now? I'm changing my code name. It turns out Tom wasn't the most auspicious choice. Uh huh. Well, the truth is, when I chose my code name, I picked the wrong one. The wrong one? Did you ever see the movie The Great Escape? It came out last year. I oh, must have missed that one. Anyway, it's based on a true story about prisoners who escaped from a POW camp in Nazi Germany. The prisoners dig three tunnels as part of their plan, but the Nazis find two of the tunnels before they're finished. The prisoners succeed in escaping by using the last remaining tunnel. The names of those three tunnels were Dick, Harry, and Tom. <laughs> I get it. You used the name of the tunnel they escaped in as your code name because you thought it would bring you good luck. Yes, that's exactly right. At least, that was the plan. But... That'd be cool. But I got the Oxley. name wrong. The one they escaped in was Harry. Definitely Tom play that. Was one of the unlucky tunnels that was discovered by the Nazis before it was finished. I watched the movie again just to make sure. In fact, I even ordered the actual film from the movie company. Yeah, it doesn't sound like the greatest name to use. So what should I call you? Hmm. You know, let's just use Zero, like we've been doing all along. All right, then. Major Zero it is. We'll start over from square one. From square zero. My frequency <laughs> is 140.85. Make a silly joke oh, from I square zero. <laughs> paramedic is with us again on this mission. Is this her last chance, too? If we fail, she'll have her medical license revoked. It's more or less the same kind of fate. Her frequency is the same as during the Virtuous mission. 145.73. She'll be recording your mission data as well, just yeah. like the last time. True. That frequency is also the same. 140.96. And there's one more person on your support team. His name is Mr. Sigint. He's an expert on the latest in weapons and equipment technology. You'll be going up against some of the world's most advanced weaponry when you infiltrate the research facility. If you have any questions, just ask him. His frequency is 148.41. Mr. Sigint, got it. Adam, your KGB contact, is waiting for you at the abandoned factory up ahead. The same factory Sokolov was being held in last week. Yes, meet up with Adam first. He's cleared the way for you to rescue Sokolov. How will I know this Adam guy when I see him? You'll know once you reach the factory. The whole area's been polluted by the fallout from that nuclear blast. No one else would dare come close. The password is Who are the Patriots? And Lali Lule Lo. Lali Lule Lo. Gotcha. <laughs> You've been equipped with a Lali Lule Lo. for this mission. Be careful, it's noisy. I thought standard Fox procedure was procure on-site weapons acquisition. The circumstances are different this time. You're now on an official mission for the United States government. It would be necessary to make your presence known to a certain extent, to the Khrushchev regime at the very least. But remember, this is still a sneaking mission. Khrushchev. Snake, if you fail this mission, it will mean an all-out nuclear war. Keep that in mind and proceed with extreme caution. Understood. Commencing Operation Snake Eater. I love. I need to replay Red Dead One at some point. Such a great game. Vemuchi East. I think I lost all my food from before, right?
still have thermal goggles? No. Frog or something here. Amazing they were able to actually do this on a PS2 console. It really was. Ah, here he is. green snake or something up here. There he is. There's the green snake. Alright. Now it's time to lose my weapon. Look, he's dressed up just like me. You can't tell the difference, right, guys? I mean, like, I look identical. <laughs> Apart from the glasses, maybe. Identical. I look identical. You changed your name again? I've given up trying to remember, because you change like every friggin' week. Horsey! Prodigy! Of course he's in the game. Looks like death wasn't ready for you yet. That arm still hurt? What are you doing here? Just shoot her. Like, he had all the time in the world. Damn it, snake. Breaks the gun. Go home. My sons are waiting up ahead. You don't have a prayer of finishing your mission. You're not even armed. Boss. I'm not your boss anymore. There's nothing for you here. Go home. Go back to your boss. There's no need to prove that you are virtuous here. This isn't America. I have that weapon. should stir things up a bit. You'd better hurry. Ah, sorrow. Look at him there. The border is 60 miles south of here. You ought to be able to run that far. Why'd you defect? I didn't. I'm loyal to the end, to my purpose. 
What about you, Jack? What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your old mentor? The mission or your beliefs? Your duty to your unit or your personal feelings? You don't know the truth yet. But sooner or later you'll have to choose. I don't expect you to forgive me. But you can't defeat me either. You know me too well. Dun dun. Just look at that bandana. If you can't put the past behind you, you won't survive long. If we meet again, I'll kill you. Why didn't he move there? Like, <laughs> now, for fuck's sake. Let the horse stand on him, like. Any new games this week? Uh, nothing really. I'm just playing Final Fantasy 16 myself. This is Snake, Major Zero. I read you, Snake. I was ambushed by the boss. You were what? The drone's been shot to hell. It's up in flames. That's not good. Enemy scouts are gonna come looking for you. Yeah, I know. But what was the boss doing here in the first place? There's gotta be a leak somewhere. No, that's impossible. The man the boss is working with, Volgin, isn't exactly on speaking terms with Khrushchev. I lost my gun. The boss destroyed it. Snake, I know how you're feeling. It's hard for me to believe, too, that a legendary hero like the boss would go over to the Russians. That she'd double-cross us like this. But that's how it is, and if you don't accept it, you'll never be able to beat her. That's not the problem. In terms of sheer technique, I'll never be able to beat her. I know that all too well. You've got to do it, Snake. She's your enemy and your objective. Enemy? We were together for ten years, and now you tell me she's my enemy? Enough. Hurry to the factory where Adam is waiting. Scouts have probably already been sent out to investigate the explosion. You've lost your weapon, right? That means you've got no chance of winning in a battle situation. Whatever you do, don't let them see you. Whatever you do, don't let that virus beat you. It's not a pretty sight. The DPM is good as well. Forest camo pattern designed in Germany that provides excellent cover in forested areas. Wearing it prevents battery drain. Bad spot, actually. 90%. That's pretty good. Oh, I have the easy gun. I don't want to use that. That's kind of cheating. <gasps> what the hell is this? HQ, HQ. This is HQ. Patrol here. We have evidence of an enemy intruder. Commence alert formation. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Oh, the music is so good. This is like the hardest part. Wait, how are you supposed to... Just crawl all the way out of here. The sneaking mission. Stealth is the key. And I'm a stealthy some bitch. Beaten? <laughs> well, I can play. Where are the thermal goggles? 
Because I know they're in a different spot. Um, when you start the Snake Eater mission. Sneaking mission. Alina Vodno. Just when you have like no weapons, it sucks. Stand up! What are you doing? Apes. I think I have to wait till the other guy comes over. Ah, oh, this guy's gonna take forever, so he's... I like cut the rope here or something, but I, I can't do it now because he's gonna see me. I think probably should have done it earlier. How you doing today, Trevor? Anyway, you well? HQ, HQ. This is HQ. Patrol here. No problems detected. Understood. Is it just that one dude? Or is there another one? It's circle, right? Speak. There are guys who know alert cancellation frequencies. Answer me. Bastard. He's not down yet, damn it. Here we go. He's only got two stars on his head though, that's not good. Can I actually make this? I'm scared to try. Okay, you know what? Before the other guy wakes up, I'm just gonna go. Otherwise, then there's caution again. Anybody here? I think there's nobody here actually at the start, right? Where is there? A bunch of pythons. Action button. Hey, Tara. Trying to get back up. Okay. And jumping up is so jank in this. Oh my god, would you pick up the fucking box, dude? Come on. There you go. Bloody hell. <laughs> Wanted to pick up a cardboard box. Hmm. 
Nerd. You've arrived at the factory, I see. Yeah. Now to meet up with this Adam guy. Good. Go to it. So, where is he? We weren't given an exact location. How about a time? Nothing was specified. A physical description? I'm not sure. How am I supposed to find him, then? You won't need to. Huh? He'll find you. Uh. Why don't you try the room to the northeast where you met Sokolov? Adam might be in there. Oh, you played Layers of Fear on Lord's PS5? Nice. Yo! You're Snake, aren't you? And you're Sigint? None other. I heard that you're an expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting-edge technology. Close. Huh? I am THE expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting-edge technology. Ah. I'm the guy that designed your train. Alright. Sounds like the Cobra unit. Yeah. I don't know if they'll say anything while I'm in the cardboard box. Maybe another time. Alright, I think you just go into the room and then come back out and then start the cutscene again. Ah, there's the thermal goggles. I was trying to remember where they were. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm late. Cut the engine. They'll hear us. Are you the agent they sent? Are you Adam? I thought you were supposed to be a man. Adam couldn't make it. All right, say the password. <laughs> Who are the Patriots? Who are the Patriots? Answer me! Huh? Trapped. Trapped. Get down! Oh my. Eva. Hey, what's up? <laughs> the pervertedness appears. Here is my boobies. The name's Eva. Huh? Right, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> smiles Eva this wasn't part of the plan what happened to Adam what's your code name it's snake, snake huh well I'm Eva it's not truck <laughs> Truck. What happened to Adam? Colonel Volgan is a very suspicious man. He decided Adam wasn't the right person for this mission. And you were? Yes. Why? 
because I can do things he can't. I heard you used to be a codebreaker for the NSA. I was. Four years ago, I defected to the Soviet Union with Adam. Now's our military. The broom handle. It packs quite a punch. Nice to have when you're on a bike. You held it sideways and used the muzzle jump to create a horizontal sweep. That was impressive. Bet you've never seen that technique in the West. It's imitation, isn't it? Yeah. It's a Chinese Type 17 pistol. Around here, even that's hard to come by. That's hard to come by. The one I've got for you is American made. Forty five, huh? Hmm. Incredible. Do you like it? <laughs> the feeding ramp is polished to a mirror sheen. The slide's been reinforced, and the interlock with the frame is tightened for added precision. The sight system is original, too. The thumb safety is extended to make it easier on the finger. A long type trigger with non slip grooves. A ring hammer. The base of the trigger guard's been filed down for a higher grip. And not only that, nearly every part of this gun has been expertly crafted and customized. Where did you get something like this? I grabbed it from a Western munitions armory. It probably used to belong to one of your officers, and there are more where that came from. More where that came from. You had this with you, didn't you? Better take this too. What's that? A disguise to make you look like a scientist. A disguise? Yes. I am disguised. Look at me. Here to rescue Sokolov, right? Sokolov's still safe then. Yes, he's being forced to continue his work on the Shagohov. Where? At the lab. They've got a whole army of scientists there developing new weapons. Security is tight, but if you disguise yourself as a scientist, you might be able to sneak in. Might be. Can we get Sokolov out of there? We'll see, won't we? Tell me how to get to the lab. The safest way in is from the rear. <laughs> First, oh you'll need to head north through the jungle. You'll come to a heliport used for shipping materials. Pass the heliport and continue north, and there will be a large crevice. Descend into that area, and you'll reach a cave. Move through the cave, and you will arrive at a mangrove swamp. After the swamp, there'll be a warehouse. Make your way through the warehouse, and you'll come out just south of the lab. Got it. And just what are you doing there? <laughs> In close-range combat, a knife can sometimes be more useful than a gun. By doing this, I'll be able to hold a knife at the same time and still keep the gun steady. That way, I can instantly switch between a gun battle and a knife fight. Right, let's get going. Wait a minute. What now? You must be tired. Why don't you take a little rest? I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. You'll never make it in your condition. It's a jungle out there. There's still an hour before dawn. It's dangerous to be out in the jungle at night without a guide. What about you? Really? I have to get back. I can't be gone for too long. They'll start to suspect something. Don't I... worry. I'll keep you updated over the radio. That's it? My orders are to provide you with information, nothing more. Hmm. You look disappointed. All right, then. I'll do something special for you. I'll stand watch until dawn. Now be a good boy and lie down. What's the matter? I don't know you well enough to trust you. 
How well do you have to know me to trust me? I don't know if I can trust anybody. Anybody. Gonna get that? How can you hear that? She's right, Snake. You should get some sleep. Although, in your condition, you really ought to be back in the ICU. Whenever you save the game and quit, you'll go to sleep. Sleeping allows you to gain back stamina naturally. Depending on how long you sleep, you may also recover naturally from sickness and injury. When you're tired or hurt, the best thing to do is just get some sleep. So do yourself a favor and take a nap. Doctor's orders, okay? Yeah, okay. Doctor's orders? Hell yeah. Hard disk drive. Go to sleep, guys. All right, good night, guys. I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> Why do I remember this? I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know. Why do I remember this? <laughs> ah. What's the matter? We're surrounded. I see four of them. We've got company. It's the Ocelot unit. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Hurry. <laughs> I'm not looking Don't at you. Gear. Here, give me a hand. I'm a professional. We can use this to get to the basement. Basement? Excuse me? Get past them on my bike. I'll call you later. Okay, I'll keep them busy. Huh? Don't go dying on me now. Woo! Uh. I'll try not to. I'm always playing stealthily. I need to do a guns blaze in the playthrough. I could play it. A bit more aggressive, I guess. Wait, let me let me save actually here. I already saved earlier. I don't want to save again. Can I get rid of this? Yeah, there we go. Hey, Outlaw. Hey, what's up, Henry? Got him. 
There's a guy up top here as well. Not here? Right. What? Not here? What? Get away? Not here? Be a guy up top there. The thing about this section is they never wake up the other guys. percent oof I was about to say why am I 30 percent shotgun really buddy what are you stop crawling oh man fucking this shotgun dude fuck you Everyone is a damn knife expert. Yeah, I thought that was gonna happen. In dirty grass. <laughs> Getting me called out like that. Kill play? Um, not really. I'm kind of just winging it today. I'm just playing however I feel like in the situation. Like right now, I just want to try and trank, trank all these guys here. In other areas, I might just play like kill, kill them all. Hey, is that moving? Are you fucking serious? That was literally beside his head. Smoke on that. Knew there was a guy up there. What? Oh, for fuck's sake. All four of them came here. God damn it. How did all four of them hear the friggin' prank on shoot a wall? Okay, you blew yourself up there, not me. Die! was rough oh it's so stupid literally like pinging the fucking wall alerted everyone to come out to get me you see nothing mate you see nothing i don't know what you're talking about
and he's shooting the shit out of that grass. Let's wait until he uh, enter reload. <laughs> I'm such a stealthy guy. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Get my health back. Damn it. Take this thing out of the case and stick it up your nose. I think there's a camouflage that makes me... Is it this one? Wearing it doubles the natural life recovery rate. There you go. One way to do the lawn. <laughs> yeah, that guy was going ham. Like, I was just hiding behind the tree and he was just like... He was like Call of duty is completely. Just trying to murder everything. I can't even remember where you get the DPM camo. Is there any guns in this area? I really wanted to do that stealthily, but I completely fecked it up because I missed my shot. Naked, naked for the cutscene here coming up. Naked, naked snake. I think when I come back out. Oh no, I think I have to go to the the end of the area over here. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Huh? I don't, do I have a gun? I've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> Wait, or one? That's it. That's the stance. That's the stance. I don't think so. Female spy? And you didn't figure that out before. Look at her builds. This bitch is wearing perfume. Stay where you are. I've had enough of your judo. I see you've got yourself a single action army. That's right. There'll be no accidents this time. You call that an accident? Well. It wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been showing off. What did you say? It's a nice gun. I'll give you that. But the engraving gives you no tactical advantage whatsoever. Unless you were planning to auction it off as a collector's item. <sighs> and you're forgetting one more very basic thing. You don't have what it takes to kill me. Oof. Also getting owned again. I love to see it. Damn. 
This isn't over yet. Don't. Why? He's still young. You'll regret stopping me. Yeah, the end also. I've got to get back before he does. All right, time to go into space. <laughs> oh, it always gets me, man. She literally like teleport. She just ramps into space like evil can evil. Like what the fuck? <laughs> so unbelievable, like completely unbelievable. So fast, she like. Goes into fucking orbit. Cause it looks like, like you see the background. It looks like she's like above the forest. <laughs> oh shit! Wait for them to get old. Yeah, if you put like the the game's date ahead, you can get like the end to die. Two weeks. Two weeks ahead, is it? I'm trying to remember when that AK was here. And I heard something beeping. Beep. Oh, it's outside. I was wondering. It was like a beeping sound. I was like, am I going crazy? Am I hearing beeping? Outside the window. All right, all right. Enough nakedness, even though I'm sexy. Snake camo. Ultimate cover in every environment. We'll see about that. Sheer Noj Prud. I can never pronounce half of these. Be another crappy snake over here somewhere. There he is. Oh yeah, the friggin' leeches are in this. You can never see shit in here as well. Now give me the fish. Shit, I ran out of oxygen. That was my bad. Now I'm 95%. That's a lot of camel. I think I got a leech there. Just the one. Damn, I was hoping I'd get the cutscene where he like... Burns off the leech. Snake, are you there? Eva? Did you miss me? Did you make it without any trouble? No one saw me. So you're back with Volgan? In a matter of speaking. What about the boss? Yeah, she's here too. Better be careful. Thanks, I will. The boss and I get along pretty well, though. I guess we traders have a lot in common. Why would anyone want to defect? Betraying your country like that, I, I just don't get it. Are you talking about the boss? Why'd you do it? Weren't you born and raised in America? 
Yes, in a small rural town. I never even knew there were other countries, other cultures, other ways of thinking, until I went to work for the NSA. And one day, I found I'd lost faith in the things I'd been taking for granted. What did you see? What was it that made you want to change sides? Change sides? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. I saw the universe. The universe? Not the actual universe. The universe as the intelligence community sees it. I realized that the gravity in this universe was holding me back. That's all. People yeah, Henry. in countries are both changed by their environment and by the times. That sounds like what the boss was saying. There's a world of difference between this country and America. But it's only a difference of position, a difference of perspective. Coming here made me realize something. Half of what I'd been told was a complete and utter lie. The other half was a conveniently constructed lie. Where's the truth, then? It's hidden in the lies. Hidden? Are you lying, too? Who knows? I've been trained to make even the most severe falsehood sound like the honest truth. Weren't you? No. I believe because I have to, even if it is a lie. That's part of my mission. I'll have to remember that. If you need me, give me a call on the radio. My frequency is 142.52. See ya. See ya. Wanna be ya. Gotta get the croc cap, guys. Yeah, if I can remember how to drop here without falling off. Let's see. Okay, wait, let me eat some food first before I do this. Milk snake. Another thing is, like, she used her bike, right? She jumped... She went this direction with her bike. But there's a big friggin' lake here. How did she get by the lake? She must have went around a different direction. Like. <clears throat> Croc cap. Hell yeah. Rustiest weapon in all the land. Not even the crocodiles will expect it. I am a crocodile. Look at me. Get another leech on me. Damn it. Still no cutscene. Maybe I need to be on dry land for the cutscene to play. DPM. Yeah, I have the DPM. I just don't know. Um, hold on. Let me just get some more food here real quick. Ah. Bad. I have the DPM one, I just... I can't remember where you find it in the game, that's all. Just me. Hey, <laughs> he looks awesome. Bolshea, pass out. Bolsh... Sugar. 
will shake your bat your body. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. The crocodile going about his business. Or alligator. I think it's an alligator. Well, it does say croc cap, so maybe it is a crocodile. At least they didn't make it too complicated with picking up claymores. Oh, I think I can kill the dogs here. Bad dog. Now he's dead. The doggos. <laughs> the dogs are fine. Snake, what in God's name? How does it look? It looks cool. Huh? It looks cool on you. It does? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think cool is the right word. Why? What's wrong with it? <laughs> What's wrong? Don't you think it looks silly? Doesn't it make you laugh? Aren't you going to ask me what the hell I was thinking? No. Oh. I think it really does look good. It reminds me of the alligator people. Oh, the... what? The alligator people. It's a science fiction movie. You've never heard of it? No. Oh, well, you should see it sometime. It's about this guy who gets hurt in a car accident and tries to heal his wounds by injecting himself with a crocodile serum, but then his head turns into a crocodile head. You look just like him with the mask on. That's awesome! Right. <laughs> huh? Oh, never mind. I suppose you might be able to disguise yourself as a crocodile by wearing that cap and sticking your head out of the water. <laughs> Major Tom's is so disappointed in me. It's funny as hell. Hey, Snake, remember back at the abandoned factory when you whittled the grip of that 45 down? Yeah. I've never heard of a customization like that before. Why the grip? To fit it with a knife. A knife? You're going to keep the knife and the gun both at the ready? That's the idea. Why would you want to do that? Sometimes a knife works better in close proximity encounters. So I equip both at the same time. That way I can switch back and forth in an instant. Badass. So that's that. CQC. Badass. Digant is awesome. <laughs> There's nothing here. Uh -huh, Robin Atkin Downs. Hmm. Only like if you hit the background. Oh shit, I need to actually. Hell yeah.
there another guy here somewhere? Nothing's wrong. You're being delusional. Let's see where. All the enemies. Mm, I forget which way I go here, left or right. Uh, let's go left. I want to pick up a suppressor, but I don't think these guys drop suppressors. Oh, never mind. They do. They do. Put somebody on the fence? Oh, yeah. Hey, can I? I think I can go back, actually. Hold on. dog you're not dead these are so far away from the damn fences fucking Bad dog. Is the game broken? Fuck. I see him. It's like I'm getting hurt. Or not hurt. Wait, am I poisoned or something? Hold on. I'm not. What the hell's going on then? The game busted?
<laughs> I didn't think I could break this game. Oh, for fuck's sake. These guys already know I'm here. This is baloney, man. Fuck. And so much for stealth. <laughs> Stealth, man. What is stealth? Well, there's no point suppressing shit anymore. Missing me 90% of the time. And how long does the tranquilizer take to put this guy down? I shot him ages ago. Did I even hit him? I could have swore I shot that guy. Shot him in the head. Why is he? Huh? Right. All right, I had no suppressor on. Right. Yeah, that might cause problems. I am so not stealthy. box that's safe right fuck the sleep fuck it now it's now i don't care anymore <laughs> might as well just have fun with this It's like it's better to put them to sleep though because if you don't if you put them if you kill them they just get replaced by more enemies. Just putting them to sleep they have to stay in the actual area. Oh my god, dude. There you go. What? Bruh. In his face when he knifed me. Bullshit, dude. That was a bunch of lies. That was a bunch of lies and it's all a sham and a fraud and a sham. Uh. Fuck this, let's just kill everyone. <laughs> Give me some bullets.
spawn. This is H. What's wrong? What's going on? Respond. Ah, I'm out of bullets. What's going on? Respond. There's something wrong. Support unit. Confirm their status. I keep making such dumbass mistakes. <laughs> But it's all a part of the fun. Support unit confirm their status. Give me ammo. I don't want grenades. Bruh. Just get the Patriots and light them up. That's what I should do, guys. Oh, ham. Stealth mission, you say? You got your stealth mission right here. Huh. Guess I'm seen. Huh? Huh? I kill all of them? Oh, I did. This is HQ. Patrol here. Enemy position unknown. Going into high alert. Acknowledged. Keep your eyes. How did that alert someone? This is HQ. Hide under the bed, lads. Tactical espionage action. You didn't see nothing, buddy. I haven't picked up any handgun ammo. What the hell is going on here? Finally. Ah, silence weapon. Of that explosion. Cover. Oh, I got him in the dick. the enemies don't play like big boss it says I was gonna play like big boss <laughs> where's the fun in that when they have all this Gameplay where you can kill enemies, blow them up. Why would you play normally?
Where the hell is he? Oh, he's in here. Of course he is. Excuse me, I was just investigating the floor. Bam. Super rapid fire. Look, they just keep coming though, that's the thing, like. <laughs> Very tactical. Wait, I'm about to die anyway, I think. How do I get off this triangle, right? And how much injuries do I got? Gunshot. Cut. Oh. oh wait, I didn't get the rations yet. Of course there's a guy over here. Oh, I got ammo for this finally. What's going on? Respond. Oh, for fuck's sake, of course it'd be that, that guy that would be the one on that is reporting in. So fucking typical. Radio, we need backup. Here's your backup. Got a rat. Hitman and Splinter. Splinter Cell. I played Splinter Cell a while back. It's really good. It's different, definitely different to this. Like, enemies are much more punishing, like, when you actually get caught. Um, what do I want to do? Food, wasn't it? Let's eat a rat. Let's see. Don't let Lone Wolf see. All right. Got my anarchist uh, murderousness out of the way. Maybe I can get back to being stealthy. <laughs> I'm going to blame Mark for that because he said to go back and electrocute a guy. And then it just all went to shit from there. Ubisoft are making a Splinter Cell 1 remake? Oh, really? Is that confirmed, is it? Robinson Crusoe. Sorry, I got a bit anarchistic. I can be more stealthy. <laughs> but I haven't played this game in like three or four years. So. I'm only dressed up as him. I don't play as him. <laughs> I'm dressed up like the badass. Oh, he's here already. Shoom. Ah, you're here at last. Looks like the boss's info was right. Twice now you've made me taste bitter defeat.
like the Cobras, but you're mine now. All of you, leave us. Leave us. Just you and me. No one to get in our way. Ocelots are proud creatures. They prefer to hunt alone. Oh, yeah? Inside. Not bad, eh? Ah, oh, shit, miss. Died. Well, that's right, I didn't have full health going in here. Dun, 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 dun. I have like shit all health actually. I could put on life, I suppose. Yeah. Got one life mess at medicine. Medis medicine. Am I missing so much? Got me. Oh. Ah. My hat. <laughs> nice. Shot. Shit! Hit me again. You won't get away from me. Hiding to be fair. And no wonder I'm getting my ass kicked. Okay. I've never felt attention like this before. <laughs> That's so different from simply changing a clip. He didn't throw the grenade. Oof. And I wish I didn't axe the jackass and have no health before this area. Now it's making it really hard to actually like. Forever to get your health back in this. My 
cat. Really going back for his hat. I'm just slowly getting my health back here. <laughs> I never really do this, so it, I'm just doing it for fun. He can I get my health back? Oh. Damn it. Stop making me miss, buddy. You won't get away from me. Then pick it up your damn hash, you fool. Hold your fire. Nick. In the dick. Ah, I missed. Damn it. Hey, would you stop shooting me as you run? Yep. I can eat it, yeah. face me boom okay in the face damn it he found us where do all these damn hornets come from Does he grow them in his stomach? <laughs> That's gonna look brutal in, in the remake. Actually. As long as they don't make it ridiculous where like he's trying to shoot hornets. You were lucky. We'll meet again. Nah, you just lost. Man, the 
man. How, who knows how far that goes? <laughs> he just jumps off. Come out of his dick hole. Ouch. Now that would be painful. <laughs> Loxley. <laughs> that crab can't see shit in this area that's not the right way to go um to find the torch in this area i can't see shit dude you guys can't see shit either <laughs> Possible to see shit here. Can I increase? Yeah, that does like literally nothing. Yeah. Can I actually change the brightness in this game? I think I already changed this before. Just the monitor. Oh, I can't actually increase the brightness. <laughs> well, never mind then. All right. Well, shit, guys. I'll just be your eyes for you guys. Here we go. Porch. Now we can see shit. Get rid of the Patriot. I don't really want to use that. Uh, no, I don't want TNT. I don't think I need this for the next encounter. I just need the shotgun. I can remember the shotgun strategy for this boss fight. I can say... Actually taking a break since I started. Maybe I'll take a little break. Okay, here we go. No food space? Damn, I actually ran out of space. I don't have that much, do I? Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. Horrible. Disgusting. That was horrible. Horrible. That's horrible. I need to replay RE7. I haven't done it in a while. Chernoya Peshira Cave. Exactly, guys. You guys tell me how to pronounce that. <laughs> a shotgun in here. We need that badly for this boss fight. 
Tommy gun. La, 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 la. Can probably get the uh what should I call it? Night vision goggles. Night vision goggles. Vision of the night goggles. And I can feel the air coming from this cave. Oh, it's a great breeze. I don't know if anyone else in chat can feel it. Can you guys feel it? I feel warm just looking at how I'm dressed. I really do. I feel like I'm just making everybody in chat warmer by how I'm dressed. Oh. Dun, 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 Not mid July. Well, it's gonna be mid July in a few days, Trevor. Then we're gonna hate it. All right, let me get the shotgun ready. We need shotgun and stun grenade, I think, for this boss fight. The shotgun to get rid of his bees, and then the MK twenty two to silence his stupid face. Holy moly, look at that. Look at that game. That blade. Looks like he was cut by some type of blade. like the trick you need to like keep spamming and then you can shoot like really fast at the end you have to be like really accurate too which is the armor that gives you like damage protection henry do you remember It's agile as fuck, this guy. Let's get started. swimming X okay I remember what is the uh, water <laughs> might as well put it on water there's one here that definitely oh maybe it's a sneaking suit hold on that's all damage in half and reduces stamina consumption it might be that one I think this is just good camo. Yeah, ultimate camo. House cam? Maybe it's house cam. Hold on. Also, wearing it drops any damage to two thirds. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one. Well, 
Probably should have used that on uh, Ocelot. Fast that is. Grenade. So fast. Throw a grenade. I didn't even see that. Tommy gun. Tommy gun. Shit. Halfway point. Bumblebees. Now it's time for bullet bees. <laughs> I love the sound effect. <laughs> This is hilarious. Stop throwing grenades at me. Jerk. Oops, I didn't mean to shoot him like that. Go, my pain. Go, my pain. Chill for a sec. Damn it. Yeah, I, I can't hit headshots at all today. Jesus. there I think Psst, Trevor what the hell are you doing no How he's still doing his like little dance. Hey. 
Okay, one more time, I think. Yeah, here you go. Here's a grenade. Oh yeah. My hornets. The pain. The pain. The pain. Not the pain. Okay, you can stop using the bees command now. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, is that fight done? Burn and a burn. Get some ointment. I heard you defeated the pain. You heard? Yeah. From who? It wasn't easy. And there's still three more of them left. Four. Hmm. There are still four more Cobras left, including their leader, the boss. I'm aware of that. Good. The exit from Let's the cave... Let's have a sexy girl for a change. Proceed through the cave and find the exit to the swamp aqueduct. <laughs> Be gone with you, pain. Nice, Jamie. Nice. The Davy Crockett's that the boss took with her. It's not anything about the pain, you idiot. Wearing the water face paint, are you? Water face paint should should be under effective underwater. Yeah, thanks. Great, good. Snake, you beat the pain. Not without a tough fight. How did it feel to fight one of the boss's comrades? What are you getting at? I just want to know what it's like to have fought a member of the legendary Cobra unit. That's all. What you want to know is if I can really face the boss. Is that right? Well, that too. Don't waste your time worrying about me. <laughs> I'll get the mission done. I certainly hope so. So the exit of the cave is up ahead? Right. Go to the end of the cave and you'll come out in an aqueduct overgrown with mangroves. This leads to the Ponizovie swamp. Yeah, keep being cheeky with them commands and I'll turn them off, huh? Eh? Do you want to save? No. Okay. Good luck, Snake. Thanks. I just, I just thought I'd say hello to you. All right. That was fun. Yeah, this next bit's annoying because you're like underwater and stuff. This water one should technically be effective in the next area, but I'm just going to go with the snake. That one's effective in every area. Black and zombie. Zombie's always a good one. I love wearing the zombie one. Are you even, even able to get up here and attack him? I think he'll, like, knock you down before you can get there. Two trucks. break actually now I said that before but yeah, 
Yeah, I'll just have a little break. I'll be back in a sec, guys. I just need to, like, take off this bandana for a few minutes and I'll be back. It's hurting my head. Horseshit! Chicken! Eastwood has been arrested for a crime he didn't... Oh, wait, no, it's a film.
Oh. Oh shit, wait, I didn't put on the headband yet. What a fit! You must be the lovely. Ooh. No, my secret identity is revealed. I am big boss. <laughs> no. See if I can put this on right. Probably not. Always like at the wrong angle. I can't even see if that's good or not. It's okay, I think. It's really hard to see. Oh, I usually push it up like this. And I can see again. <laughs> it just hurts my friggin' eye not being able to look at it. Glasses. glasses. <laughs> Not sunglasses. Big boss with sunglasses on. Oh yeah. Alright. Gotta put in my codec now. And the controller. Did you like my sunglasses? Kept you waiting, huh? I was on a break. Leave me alone. Super futuristic turrets. I can't pick it up. Uh. Pretty tasty. Pretty tasty. Da -da 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 -da. Hey, C. J. and James, how's it going? Welcome in. How are you guys doing today? Mind detector. <laughs> like I need that. <laughs> I've got thermal G's, man. I don't think I'll even bother going in there, though. I could shoot them, actually. The mines. Man, that's a lot of... <laughs> that's a lot of bats. Holy shit. Uh, what's a bad food? Maybe this green tree guy? Can't complain. That's a lot of bats. Bash. Let's eat a bat. Nice. Trying to for the room. I don't want to play that game. That's. There's. 
I just don't enjoy playing that. <laughs> Can I hit this guy here? Friggin' camo here, what's going on? Water. Water, the only one that works. I could do spider. Then that drains my friggin' life. 69%, hell yeah. Come on, 54. See anything? Get out of the way. <sighs> can't even. I can't even make out this guy's head. Oh, there it is. Wait, I can't shoot him because. Wait. You're not supposed to see me. God, I suck at this game. Where'd he go? Swim. Mortar support? No, you don't need that. No, 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 you don't need that. What the hell are you doing? You're just one guy, what the fuck? Jesus Christ. I don't think I've ever seen that mortar support <laughs> before. That's new to me. <laughs> That's a terrible dad joke. Could kill the end here, but we won't. It ruins the fun later. Hmm, coffee. Got some Starbucks coffee here, guys. Get your hands off me! I'm not going anywhere. Really now? How many times must I tell you? <laughs> Each time you resist, your lover will suffer the consequences. Is that clear? Forgin. I love how he's like trying to go over and fight him even though he probably wouldn't do anything. Damn you. <laughs> Boob electrif electrification. Ele Flip us. Electrocution. <laughs> You know a way, Tara? 
Hold it right there, traitor. Uh-oh. Let's find out just how lucky you are. Watch closely. One of these three guns has a single bullet in it. I'm going to pull the trigger six times in a row. Are you ready? <laughs> Juggler. <laughs> Damn it, we got another Otacon on our hands here. Huh. Looks like your luck hasn't run out yet. There's no such thing as luck Careful now. Field. <laughs> hey, James. You'd better stay in line from now on. The Cobras will take care of him. dog been disposed of yet the pain is dead what back in wall take that he may be a child but he's definitely one of yours It's a really fun way of killing the, the fear. I fear Khrushchev may have a hand in this. We have no time to lose. You must eliminate him before the final test. Don't worry. They'll be able to handle it. I'm leaving him to you, the fear. And fear is Jesus as well. The walk on water. The old man is always sleeping. Is he all right? The end is saving what life he has left in him for battle. Normally, he's dead. But he'll wake up when the time is right. And I love the the boss. She's such a cool character. And when he does, it will be the end for the boy. Oh, there's her own pun. It's a better pun than the one in chat. Yeah. Kuabara. Kuabara. Sokolov isn't worth your love. You can entertain me until the rain stops. Kuwabara, Kuwabara. <laughs> Sorrow, is that you? It is. Look, he's right there. And it's stopped raining again. Crap, 
crap. I gotta go back and get the sniper. I need a sniper for uh, a boss fight of some kind somewhere. I don't know. Maybe the end. I don't know if I'll shoot the end normally. I don't think I have the tranquilizer gun. Can you get the trank gun again? Maybe you just like find it. Same invisible walls. Kuwabara. Kuwabara. Why is... Back up for you today, though. Yeah, I'm ninety five percent now, camo. This is so good, though, isn't it? So good for all the different... TNT, please. Got myself a sniper rifle. Looks like you've got some TNT. TNT is short for trinitrotoluene, a pale yellow crystalline compound made from a trinitrified mix of nitric acid and sulfuric acid. It's used throughout the world as a military explosive. It has a low sensitivity and is chemically stable, making it easy to handle. It's also got a low melting point and can easily be shaped by boiling or steaming it. But because the sensitivity is so low, you need a booster to actually get it to explode. No problem. It came with its own remote control detonator. Good. Then all you have to do is press the weapon button to place the TNT, and then press the CQC button to set it off. The map screen in the survival viewer will display the locations where you've planted TNT. Oh, cool. No Take that. warning, though. The radio signal for the detonator is pretty weak. Don't forget that pressing the CQC button will only set off TNT that's planted in the same area. This is uh, the HD collection, Dale. On PlayStation 3. Wait, did I? So I didn't put PS3 on the title? I must have forgot. I can't tell you how many times I've, like, explored these areas originally on the PS2 version. I played this, like, so damn much. Alright, yeah, there we go. That's a bit better, actually. Ah, uh, much better. Like, when that bandana's, like, forced on your head, this is just a tight bandana. It's not really loose, so that's probably why... Shh, 
exterior. And that was like right at his mouth. Why didn't he go to sleep? Now we're playing more like a uh, stealthy guy. It's slightly more stealthy than... Uh, Some areas. Shit. Water again. Oh, there are the night vision goggles. All right. Shit, I didn't mean to get in the water. What if I call the boss or Major Tom here. Major, Sokolov has been hauled off. Yes, they probably caught him trying to escape from the lab. Didn't Volgin say that they still needed to perform the final test? Yeah. Then Sokolov must have been taken back to the lab. Get to the lab and get Sokolov the hell out of there. Pass through that warehouse and you'll come out south of the lab. Make your way inside the warehouse. Watch out for enemy sentries. Oh, I gotta deal with the fear first. You want to save? Ah, uh, sure, why not? We'll give it an old save, won't we, lads? Oh, it'll be great crack to give the game a save. Woohoo! What have the Romans ever done for us? Clean water? Oh yeah, they did that. Or from medicine, Snake, education, have you seen no? 007 from Russia with love. Nah, I, don't I love this movies. <laughs> Real spies are nothing like James Bond. It's pure fantasy. Snake, I don't think the major's going to like you saying that. And even though it's fiction, I can't help but comparing myself to Bond. What exactly don't you like about James Bond? I mean, is it the fantastic gadgets, the cars, the guns? Major. <laughs> Snake, wouldn't you like to have a gun shaped like a pen? What good is a pen going to do me in the jungle? I'd look like a fool. Then what about a snake-shaped gun? You could make it look like you're grappling with a giant snake and then get a shot in on the enemy while they're distracted. <laughs> okay, now you're being ridiculous. We'll make you a snake-shaped gun that folds up and fits into an attaché case. Will you give it a rest? Oh, I get it. You're worried about how to handle the ladies, aren't you? No. I knew it. Hm, to tell you the truth, I don't like the idea of playing hanky-panky with enemy femme fatales either. But that's part of Bond's appeal. You could learn a thing or two from him. I mean, what about this Eva? What are you planning to do with her? I... I don't even trust her yet. <laughs> no, that's not what I mean. You you can't let yourself get involved. This is a game of spy versus spy. She's using you just as much as you're using her. I realize that. You've got to grab the initiative. And to do that, you have to get the upper hand in the relationship. That's what a spy is supposed to do. Get the upper hand? I don't think I'm cut out for that mission. Maybe if you change your code name to 00 Snake. <laughs> hey, <jerk. laughs> 007 is the biggest thing to come out of England since the Mayflower. I wouldn't be surprised if they made 20 more of those movies. Didn't you know? The Major is a huge James Bond fan. Don't get him worked up like this. Worked up? <laughs> Maybe you don't realize this, but now that you've got him started talking about Bond, I'm going to have to listen to him lecture for a whole hour after he gets off the radio. You have my sympathy. It's too bad you can't enjoy such a great movie, though. I guess I'm just one of those people who can't enjoy spy flicks. Sounds like you're a lame person, then. <laughs> you're supposed to be cool, Snake. What the hell, bro? 
There should be like a. There he is. I was trying to find. Spider. I have no space. All right. <laughs> the cutscene. I just try to eat a fish that you just pulled out of the water. Like, come on, snake. All the bones you'd have to eat. My favorite James Bond actor? Uh, probably Pierce Brosnan. Hello. Hmm. <laughs> the park? Nice. Well done. You got used to the car now, huh? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that that was so hard to figure out yesterday. Yeah. yeah, they must design it like that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like it. Fun times, Kathy. No, I didn't get any phone calls. Or I didn't hear any, anyway. Oh, right, yeah. Well, you have to probably pull into our place and then do a turn. Yeah, you don't want to, I don't want to do that. Really yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Excuses, Kathy. Excuses. Yeah, it was really good, actually. I liked it. <laughs> yep. Kathy, what's this? Paper? Do I care? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, maybe they updated some parts of it. The Golden Eye game? Yeah. Pretty good, Trevor. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, Golden is a great Bond film. I guess? Okay. It's fine. I'll, I'll probably take a break anyway. Oh, why? Oh, that's right. The desert one is already taken. I keep forgetting because this is New Game Plus. I think it's just that one guy up there. As long as he doesn't look down at me. Okay, sweet. Okay, knocked out. That's good. So hungry. Haven't eaten in so long. I love blowing up this place because then, like, they get all upset when you, uh. They have no hunt, no food. I need to make space for some noodles here. 
Don't look, I'm eating a rash. Xena on a top. You want a top of everything? <laughs> A lot of this is actually good stuff. Drani Dranini Gorky South. Yeah, this is the boss fight. Oh wait, no. I think it's not until I come back. Actually, I need like I always need my thermal G's here because there's so many traps in this area. Life med, nice. Ooh. And I got stabbed there. Moonraker, that's a good one too though. I, I love a lot of the a lot of the Sean Connery ones honestly they're really good yeah there's dog goes here as well Need to change my camouflage again. Seventy percent, that's not that good. Killer donuts. With my imagination. No snake, you're not gonna bite me. Go snake, go sneak that shit. Thank you for the follow, by the way, CJ. Still here. Camouflage is better. Desert Tiger, really? Hmm. I don't believe you. Guy on the left. Who's that? <laughs> Oh, 
Come on, just kill me. God damn it. Hurry up. There you go. There you go. Took them long enough. Bam, 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 bam. Dun, dun, dun. The problem here is these guys... Uh, and woodland gives me extra. All right. The sneakiest way, I guess, we can get in here. I love that there's actually second way, two ways to get in here. Just cool. This is McDonald Miller. Been a long time. Master, what are you doing? No one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Alright. And put on. Tuxedo. You're totally a scientist. Oops, sorry about that. What? I'm a scientist, you jackass. What are you doing? <laughs> not, how was I supposed to know that dickhead was around the fucking door, like? Come on, man. This is baloney, this is. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> under... I'm just having no luck at all being stealthy. <laughs> the more I try to be stealthy, the more likely I am to be caught. you useless scientists I can't even shoot them damn it stupid outfit <laughs> croc hat that guy shouldn't have friggin seen me that was baloney just because I opened the door and then knocked him over not like I, a normal person would open the door like that. He just just assumes I'm the bad guy, like. <laughs> Baloney, I tell you. Fine, I'll pretend to be riding then this time. Riding and scientist. Yeah, you're right this time, you dickhead. And fuck you, scientists. Ha! 
Okay, how do you know it's me and not the other scientists? All right, how do you know it's me? Fucking baloney. How do they know it's me and not the other scientists? Like, come on. Fucking stupid, that is. <laughs> Damn game logic. And that guy just fell over. It's so weird. You didn't notice nothing, mate. What did I do there? I knocked the dude out. That's all I did. How did he suddenly know it was me? <laughs> the fuck this game is so dumb. What the fuck like? I knocked him out, but apparently I'm still I'm still really obvious that I'm the enemy. Okay, sure. Sure game. Sure. Run, bitch! Run! Does anyone else not know that this is bullshit, like? Just, this is just bullshit. They're just, they're just magically knowing who I am. Fuck you, game. Really? Like, F you. You F and effer. Wait, why am I going back up? Oh. You didn't see nothing. Alright. Do we want to watch this cutscene? This one takes ages, so it does. If you're looking for Sokolov, he's not here anymore. Put that thing away, you'll spoil my drink. So, you're the intruder everyone's talking about. Typical capitalist dog. No manners. manners uh it's and who are you not exactly you something you've never heard of me and you call yourself an agent very well then i am alexander leonovich granin a man of some importance if i do say so myself i am the foremost weapon scientist in the soviet union and the head of the glorious Granin Design Bureau. 
This is the Order of Lenin. It is an honor of the greatest magnitude, given along with the title of Hero of Socialism to only the finest workers. It was awarded to me in recognition of my brilliant contributions to society. Since the Great Patriotic War, I have created countless weapons in the service of our great communist society. It was thanks to me that we were able to stamp out the Nazi scum. Scum. It was I who created the basic design for the mobile ballistic missile system you know and fear as SS-1C. Totally know what you're talking about. Drink. You're crocked, aren't you? I'm merely drowning my sorrow. Because of him, I've got nothing to do but sit here and drink this crap. Him. Sokolov. It's him you're looking for, isn't it? Because of him, I have been stripped of my authority. My research has come to nothing. Look. It is a revolutionary mobile nuclear missile system. A bipedal tank. Metal gear. A bipedal tank? Yes, a walking tank. A robot. Are you familiar with the theory of the missing link between apes and humans? Well, this technology... Hey, it's Metal Gear Ray. ...link between infantry and artillery. And Rex. A kind of Metal Gear, if you will. And this magnificent Metal Gear will mark a revolutionary step forward in weapons development. Metal Gear. <laughs> I won't be used so easily. No, no crying myself to sleep. For you see, I'm going to send these documents to my friend in the United States. What? These bastards will live to regret this. And when they themselves become the targets of my creation, they will know my true greatness. Yes, Sokolov's pathetic yes. shagohan pales in comparison to my work. What are you going to do with a rocket engine on a tank? <laughs> hey, Mark, what's about Sokolov? Thank you. Tank does not need a rocket. It needs something else. Look at these. Nice shoes. No. <laughs> Legs. <laughs> Legs that allow it to go anywhere. Nice shoes. Just as when humans <laughs> learn to walk upright. That is the real revolution in weaponry. Don't you agree? But the fool's in charge. Joe Sokolov. And where is Sokolov? My project has been terminated. The philosopher's legacy has been handed over to him. What the hell are you talking about? The hell are you talking about, man? The philosopher's legacy. Right, I'm skipping that. Hey, you're not thinking of going to Grozny Grad. Are you mad? It's an impenetrable fortress. I'm sure it is. You'll be killed. I'll take my chances. Wait. What? Listen to me, you fool. I want to help you. Help me? To thank you for your compliment. What compliment? My shoes. <laughs> Tatiana gave them to me. I wanted to thank you for complimenting me on them. I'll tell you how to get into the fortress. In return, I ask only that you get that idiot out of there and destroy the Shagohag. There is an underground tunnel that runs around the perimeter of the fortress. You should be able to use it to sneak into the base. Across you're too kind. Head for the mountains. Good to see, you. I hope you're well today. The entrance to the tunnel is located there. Take this.
Take this. You passed through a warehouse on your way here, didn't you? Yeah. Maybe. There should have been a locked door inside of it. Do you remember it? Uh. This key will open that door. Octopus. On that door lies the vast jungle. You can climb up into the mountains from the far end of the jungle. Go back to the warehouse. Use the key to open the locked door and head for the mountains. The mountains. Got it. Why are you helping me? Unlike Sokolov, the thought of defecting has never once crossed my mind. I love my country. Country. I love this land. I cannot even imagine living anywhere else. I wish to remain a hero of the great motherland. I cannot bear the thought of being hounded into a corner and left to waste away. It is already dawn. We must hurry. I will remain here and nurse my troubles for a little longer. To capitalism! To capitalism! That buddy. Who are you? Dude, how? Explain to me. I <laughs> got all three, nice. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Noobs. Literally got them going around the corner. <laughs> I was trying to get no alerts. I failed. Get on my way, buddy. on the reflexes. Uh, I don't know what I should use here. Woodland, maybe? Um, I'm gonna get spotted here, I think. What are you doing, buddy? Went from 10% camo to 85. Alright, let me just grab this gun in here. Is there a dude around here? It's not. What the? I think he's just revoicing the lines though, Marcus. Or they're just reusing the lines that are already there, so... Huh? 
I hate you, game. Seriously, I'm like crawling up behind them and they still spot me. Like, what the fuck? Game makes no sense. Excuse me, where did you come from? <laughs> I'm just like sick of this bullshit. They see me for like no reason. I'm like barely crawling, moving behind them. And they're like, what? I'm just like, it's like, I'm just looking at the screen here, walking around. Da, 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 and it's like, oh, he's right there. He's right fucking there! Look at him right there, man! He's right there! And then everyone in the fucking place knows for some magical fucking reason that makes no sense. Like, it's fucking bullshit. Oh, Lord. It just makes no sense, like, it's literally doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> so stupid. Okay, for this trick, I think you need a stun grenade and then AK-47s, dude. Mr. Long Tongue, yeah. This guy is, like, ridiculous. I don't mind fighting him normally, but... I might as well have fun with it. Sneaking mission? <laughs> running, running around with a shotgun, yeah. Spoilers. You've been shot with a poison bolt. The poison is spreading throughout your body. Your life is going to keep decreasing unless your voice is Salazar, really? Hurry and neutralize the poison. I didn't realize that. Go into the survival viewer and use cure to give yourself a serum injection. The serum will neutralize the poison, but don't forget to treat the bolt wound itself as well. To treat a bolt wound, you'll need your knife, a styptic, and a disinfectant. 
Use your knife to dig out the bolt and then apply styptic and disinfectant to the wound. Follow those steps and the wound should heal right up. That's cool actually, I didn't realize Let's that. Start the treatment. Hurry. I'm gonna kill myself anyway here, hold on. You just destroy him like doing that. Crazy. The fear. The fear. I see it. The fear. Lincoln, you missed the fight. The cutscenes were longer than the fight. <laughs> yeah, they do like to blow up once they're uh, defeated. Like the worst camouflage right now. Hold on. Put the snake one on. I'm gonna get spotted in a sec. I hate having to switch. I almost said that much. Where's the other dude? Is he below me? Care of those three. There's way more on like European Extreme though. Oh yeah, I know the one you're talking about, Marcus. Yeah, that's in the the ends area, isn't it? You place a, a trap, then you get the Shuken, Shukeninko snake. I forget what, how you pronounce it. Scammy. Snake, are you there? Eva, where are you? In the fortress, in Groznygrad. Dr. Sokolov is here too. Is he all right? He's fine. Right now he's busy putting the finishing touches on the Shagohad. Good. That means they haven't killed him. Not yet, anyway. But you better hurry. 
They've already finished the phase two tests. Once the final preparations are complete, they'll have no more use for him. The Colonel won't have any qualms about killing him if he thinks the CIA is closing in. Eva, you can't let Sokolov out of your sight. I know. Sneak, do you know where Groznygrad is? Granin told me that I should be able to get there from the mountains to the north, through an underground tunnel. Granin told you? Yeah, he even gave me the key to the warehouse. Why? Because he was drunk, I guess. You've got to be kidding me. Hell if I know. Snake, there's one problem with that route. What problem? The mountain entrance to the underground tunnel that leads to the fortress is sealed. You need a key to get in. A key? What about the key Granin gave me? That key won't work. But don't worry, I'll figure something out. I have an idea. There are some ruins at the top of the mountains. Meet me there. The top of the mountains. Got it. Top of the mountains. Wait. There's something else I've got to tell you. Now what? I heard that one of the cobras is waiting for you in the jungle at the foot of the mountains. He's a legendary sniper called The End. Yeah, I've seen him before. That ridiculously old guy, right? Don't underestimate him. He's known as the father of modern sniping. Is he alone? No spotter? None. He's all by himself. Apparently, he doesn't need a spotter. You can't be serious. The entire forest is on his side. The forest? Stay alert. Yeah. I'd hate to have it be the end for me. It's the second time he's said, said a joke with the end in it. <laughs> That's tasty. I can use the ends on. Um, flesh. Yeah. I got it from a previous playthrough. Crap, this area is a bit tricky. I can get the uh, the huge M60 machine gun as well. Why is this ammo so shit here? I'm in the friggin' woods, like. Who was that? Nice. Be a second guy that sees me. Crawling is the only way. Well, it really isn't. Uh, the pain's hornet strike ammo. Yeah, I have that as well. I have them all. Very so like dirty on the ground. I go to the right. I think that's the uh, M60 area. I usually, always like have fun in that area and just get myself killed. <laughs> One guy? Is there more? Oh shit, there's a trap there. I think it's 
just those two guys. What's the pains one even good for? Like the pains camel. Controlling hornets. Like, how do you even make that useful? Have it in the woods, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> True. Crap, okay, I better take out the guy in behind first. What? How did he not go down? That was in his face, I can see it. Just my imagination. Weird. I don't think there's anyone else up in this part. Is talking. The hell. Well, I'm on top of a house, so it's really hard to be stealthy here. I think he's going up the long way around. Not too bad. Can tame them to attack the guards. Yeah, I never really did that actually, to be fair. Alright, let's cause some let's cause some drama here. No way I'm getting in here without, like, actually triggering some enemies. Fuck it, I'm probably gonna get spotted anyway. I might as well just go in. Guns blazing. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. Who's that? How did... Like, everyone else hear me get spotted. That's what I just don't understand.
I don't know how the alert is 100% when I'm under the fucking building. Okay. <laughs> Look at them like. I think they know I'm here, like, if they don't know I'm here. Is that him? HQ. This is HQ. How the fuck? Where could he be? Not like you just saw me shoot from the gun, like. What's wrong? <laughs> just shoot. Who's that? Watch out. Okay, suddenly they know I'm here. Stealthy. I know. I know. I know. Cancellation frequencies. Uh, well, I don't know them off by heart. Uh, come on, guys. No need for you to spawn. Okay, how the fuck do you even know I'm here? Like. You're just like guessing. You're fucking guessing, like. And somehow you know I'm here, like. Like, fuck off. Baloney, that is. Literally, no way they should have known I was there. Like. It's all on the reflexes. Alright, let me try this Hornet stuff for the crack and see what happens. Go after those guys. Hey, my hornets, attack them. Ah, oh, shit, out of bullets. Shooting their body parts is always funny. <laughs> Just unalive them. I'm trying, but they keep spotting me. It's fucking annoying. your face this is such a scuffed run <laughs> it was like starting off trying to be stealthy and then i just like murdering things now because i feel like it oh sokarovnu so this is the cutscene right
Tell you, this console was so ahead of its time. The detail on everything. That parrot is the spotter. I beg of you. Grant me the strength to take this final prey. Let me linger in this world just a little longer. Just a little longer. I have already slept enough for one lifetime. Enough for an eternity. You have my thanks. I have to thank you for waking me. If you hadn't shown up, my sleep would have been eternal. I am the end. Oh yeah, if you shoot the parrot. I am here to send you to your ultimate fate. You'll make a fine quarry for my final hunt. How do you know where the actual parrot is? With the microphone? Or is it always in the same spot at the start? experience sniping in urban and marine environments what about the forest never i see well that forest is divided into three areas a river a plateau and a clearing he should be lying in wait for you in one of those places sounds like this may take a while it'll be a test of endurance be careful though from what i've heard the end has an almost supernatural knack for camouflaging himself so whoever moves first loses this guy's over a hundred years old, though, so I should have the advantage in terms of stamina. I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. Why's that? I've heard that his body is photosynthetic, like a plant. What is he, some kind of monster? On top of that, he can speak to the forest, too. So in other words, he knows it inside out. Uh-huh. But he doesn't know you. I'm sure you can beat oh, thank him. thank you. Don't worry. I intend to. Rocket Pirate. Let me see if I can find him. There he is. Ninety five per cent. Hell yeah. Almost a hundred. Maybe it's not in this area, maybe it's in the next area. Now I need to take a whiz.
did you say? Oh, Sims. Like to pee? It's a normal thing. Hello, stop doing that. Why was he trying to shoot me? How does he know I'm in there? Did you guys tell him? I stand up like for fuck's sake. What are you trying to do? And now he's running away. Great. Run, bitch! Run! That was unfortunate. Alright, you gotta take this out or else I'll be too sleepy. This is actually the area where you find the snake, isn't it? Place the thing down. We don't have to worry about that for now. Hmm. This is the area at least I put it down and found it anyway. Although I looked at a video, so <laughs> I kind of cheated trying to find this. You know what, I could probably just kill him. I don't need to, like, silence, kill him. I can just snipe him. Plus, I need it for the parrot anyway. Let's see where the parrot is. He's up there. This is the end. How'd you find me? Eighty five percent camel, baby. Oh, no, go away, frog. Don't poison me. Definitely up there. So try and sneak up on him. Doesn't look like the bird is here. I could just headshot him here. Got you, old guy. I forgot how awesome this fight is, isn't it? Just so cool. So who in chat thinks this is the best boss fight in MGS3? Not sure what's my favorite fight. I mean this one probably. But the Volgan fight is pretty badass too. And the Shagahod fight. I mean there's a lot of good fights in this. He's in a different area now. I think he's back this way.
the right bird. That's just a normal bird, I think. Is the bird always with him? I think it's random, somewhere random. This is the end. I think he's over there, is he? Can't see shit. Why the fuck am I hungry? Or because of all the crawling? I want some more. <laughs> That's like me last night when I wanted more burger. Kathy made a burger last night and it was amazing, guys. Oh, cool. Look at the rain effects. Yeah, this is sick. Oh, wait. It makes me more visible, though. Does the parrot talk? I'm trying to remember. I can't quite see him. Did not mean to shoot the gun there. He's still over there. Can't see him though. Fuck, I can't aim upwards. No. I thought it was over there I could hear him. Damn it, man. Can't get a good sniping spot at this. I think I gotta go around the long way. Sleeping. There he is. If I throw up a flash grenade, I might be able to kill his bird. I've got a present for you. Wabbit hunting season, boys. It's easy here before I run around like a lunatic. Okay, he's not here. Alright. 
That's fine. Let me go to the far side here. I want to finish this fight before I take a leak. Did the, am I dreaming or did the bird actually like say words because he's a parrot? Maybe I'm just missing. Maybe I'm just not in the right area where he is. Still here. Crap. The bad thing is you have to kind of like run all the, you have to crawl all the way across this. And get to him. Again. But you could just do the age. The bird is sometimes on logs, yeah. But does he speak swift? I'm trying to remember. Lots of birds here, but I don't think it's him. I remember I'm killing him in the area with the river. so far up there. God damn it. Man, I'm losing some of my camo. 25 should be still okay though. No. What are you doing? Right up in front of me here. This is the end. Dodging. The spry fucker. He's up here now. Wonder can I sneak up on him? Hey, Dr. Best, what's up, dude? Yeah, I made this cosplay uh, years ago. 2016, I think it was. Uh, I haven't used it in a while, though. This. Maybe I can see the bird here. Hold on. He's over here. You bastard. Just getting started. <laughs> I got him. Back here. All right. Man, right in the head. Dude is too friggin' OP. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, Nipple Rage, what's going on? I hope you're well, Dr. Best. Thanks for dropping by. Let's see here. 
this works. This works. Let's see if he's still in the area. All the way on the side. Right there, is he? Can't see him though. You can see the uh, mushrooms, but can't see where he is. Oh, he's right up there. Blind. fast dude oh this weather it's making it's getting hotter here all of a sudden or I'm feeling hotter Slowly sneak up on him. Slithering snake. Let's see if we can hold him up. It'll be tricky though. Come back here. <laughs> like bump into him. <laughs> the poor guy. Like a shotgun, really? I'm an old geezer. Leave me alone. Shotgun him in the back. <laughs> I mean, he's here again. I want him to get into the river plateau. The river area. He's right here? Making this too easy, so he is. Take this. This show must go on. Oh, shit, I meant to grab him there. I fucked up. Hey, Buster, I'm coming for you. <laughs> you can't really chase him. He's so fast. Jesus Christ. Sheep. He knows I'm here, but he can't shoot me behind the Him. 
back here, you fast, agile old bastard. Back here, Are you fast old git, fast old goat. Crap, I need to eat. I need one of these. Shit. Where did he go? To the left here. He's here on the left. I'm gonna finish him without killing the bird, sadly. Okay, how did you know I was even here, buddy? I missed again. Guess I'm not getting his birdie. Oh well. I wonder if I throw a grenade at him, will he run away or will he? Probably won't stay. Let me try it for the crack though. For the crack. <laughs> Death by grenade. No survival for you. Oh! Dead. Spirits of the forest, I thank you. The boss would be proud of you. The time has come for a younger generation to rise. Is that bird not there if you kill it? For more than a century. Now my journey comes to a close. What a splendid way to end it all. I have no regrets. I can return to the Forum Allah. <laughs> How do we make this moment dramatic? His teeth pop out. Then he explodes. Yeah, it's not too hot in Germany. Wait. 39 degrees? Where the hell is it 39 degrees? Comes invisible. Ah, okay. Gotcha, Swift. Can you kill it after? Can you kill the parish after? Why? Or the end is dead? He's not like just flying around here somewhere, is he? I 
can't remember if this is a good source of food or not. Oh well, I'll take it. Markor. Markiplier. Alright. I'm gonna take a whiz, guys. I'm gonna take a whiz as big boss. It's gonna be the best whiz I've ever taken. There's no cutscene, sadly. Could have went to take a whiz during a cutscene, but no. But, uh, yeah, it's good to see you, Nipple Rage. How has uh, things been with you, man? I know it's been a while since I've seen you in here. Okay, camo is... I don't know. I'll just go snake for the moment. I think we need the desert one after this. Let's go desert. Okay, 
Let's just let's go with straight up desert. Oh no, chocolate chip is good too. Chocolate chip cookies. Now it's time for the longest friggin' ladder in history. What can we talk about while we're on a ladder, guys? We could talk about how long it took them to build this ladder. I guess they just put them on top of each other constantly. Bit by bit. Step by step. So must have had a second ladder so that they could uh, attach this ladder. <laughs> Did it in sections, probably. Did I drain the snake? <laughs> yes. All gravy, baby. Nice. Nothing too exciting. The ladder is a boss fight. It is. It takes time. There'll be no one else. I'm still a dream. Invisible lift. Raznagorja mountain base. Yes. How considerate of them to put in the Russian as well. Even though the game's in English. He's so happy about it, like it's fucking brilliant. Animals. Oh, I forgot the animals one is super good here too. Didn't don't have any knife equipped. Guess we can get rid of the sniper. We don't really need it for anything else. I'm probably gonna get spotted just because I'm of how bad I'm playing anyway, so what am I looking for? Oh the knife, yeah. Well, it was either a ladder or a stairs, Trevor. Imagine, I don't know which is worse, actually. Climbing a ladder for that long or climbing a stairs that long. I suppose they have stairs in all sorts of buildings these days. What's annoying about this sometimes is you crawl into like an object and then he sits up so he's like really more noticeable. Oh, I can't aim at him. Aim. Yep. Hello? On. Alright, let's go sneak that shit. I was just saying, Trevor, imagine if they met at stairs, is what I'm saying. This guy is like also not really helping because he's facing the wrong way.
Haha, <laughs> nobody saw me. You misheard? That's okay. No, it's not okay, Trevor. It's not okay that you misheard. You gotta apologize for that. I'm gonna make you pay for your transgressions. Right now. Alright, I'm gonna chop your horns off, you damn goat. Got him. Let's just take a poop over the edge here, guys. Damn. Gotta be careful I don't fall off. Good challenges for this game. Yeah, holding up every enemy is like, sounds like it's gonna be awful. But I mean, it's a good challenge. Something I haven't ever done before, so. I haven't really done challenge runs of Metal Gear games, really. Apart from when I did like the big boss rank on MGS4, but that's different, I guess. You probably could drop him off actually. Careful now. Oh, the item's gone. Okay, where's the next enemy? That's the question. Be here? No. Above me. It's coming this way, I think. Who's that? Who's that? Fuck off, game. Dude, how can they know? Excuse, excuse me, the dude saw me for half a second. He didn't radio it in. Fuck off, game. Really? You're such a piece of shit. Look at this bullshit. How did you know I was in here? Fucking heard you, okay? Fucking... Going off the ledge with me, you are. Frick. Bullshit when these guys fucking see you when it's completely fucking bullshit, so it is. Like the guy just shouts, Oh, look, it's a guy, and then everyone is able to hear super easy, like in on top of a mountain. Sure game, sure. Pull the other one, like. Give me that snake, actually. Cheeky fecker, that's all I'll say. What can I say? No. There's like this transition where he goes from first person into third. And that's what got me killed last time.
got me spotted, I should have killed. Close enough though. Crap, he's gonna find the other guy. Second guy. Oh. All right. Calendar image. Use that. RBG is nice to blow up that chopper. Like all these areas here trying to hold up each single one of these guys would be really difficult. But, I mean, that's the challenge, I guess. It's not supposed to be easy. You know, if it was easy, then everyone would do it. Section sucks, there's so much enemies. Uh not sure what to do here. That guy downstairs. nothing 65% that's not good yeah, I think I hit him Like on European Extreme, I don't even know how long to go to sleep. It's a very short period of time. You don't need to call in reinforcements. Everyone else I shot didn't fucking panic. Again, typical, huh? Oh. What's 
There's no backup, thankfully. To the chopper. Alright, Eva, show me those boobs again. Alright. Give me a quick glimpse. Oh. fine it's just that playing these two roles hasn't left me much time to sleep where'd you get those cuts the colonel he found out if he knew i'd be dead already no this is his hobby he's a sadist he gets pleasure out of making people suffer he's scum scum <laughs> does it look that strange to you I'm the same way. Scars all over. Can I see? No. Where'd you get this one? I got it after defecting to the Soviet Union. I don't think so. It's older than that. Code breaking is a desk job. Where'd you get this kind of scar? You really want to know? Hmm. Well, too bad. Lying. A girl's got to have some secrets, you know. But enough about that. You've got to get going. The phase two trial of the Shagglehot is about to start. And it looks like someone might be coming to spoil the party. Khrushchev? His forces are on their way here. The colonel is gathering his troops together to meet them. If we don't get a move on, the security will be even tighter than it is now. You'll need this key. It unlocks the door to the underground Just tunnel. Spread Once myself you're in around, there, you can follow the tunnel to get inside Groznygrad. And take this too. What is it? The food of the future. A well-balanced meal for the space age. It's good to eat some real food once in a while. Mm. I'll bet if I kissed you... You taste like a wild beast. Look at that flirting. Hey, prodigy. Do you know where exactly in Groznygrad Sokolov is located? He's in the heart of the fortress, the weapons lab. The weapons lab is divided into three wings. There's the east wing, which houses the research facilities. Then there's the main wing where the weapons are assembled. That's where the Shagohot is. Finally, there's the West Wing, which is the West Wing. A passageway to the main Love room. that show. That's where Sokolov is. To get in, you'll have to enter the main wing from the East Wing. Then go through the passageway on the second floor of the main wing. The West Wing of the Weapons Lab. Got it. Got it. There's just one problem. Not again. The West Wing is protected by the highest level of security. You need to be Colonel Class to get in. Colonel Class? Here, look at this picture. Major Ivan Rydinovich Rykov. <laughs> Pretend you're here. Rydinovich. How do I do that? Rydinovich Rykov. Steal his clothes. You look similar from behind. They won't know the difference. Your face might be a problem, so you just have to figure something out. He should be somewhere in the east. Later. Still good. Ah. All right. But how am I supposed to escape once I get Sokolov out of there? Command said you're supposed to have something ready for me. And I do. There's a lake 30 miles north of here. How was that makeup? I hid a wig there. A wig? 
It's a state-of-the-art ground effect vehicle. A ground effect vehicle? Ow! I can't fly one of those. That's okay. I happen to be an excellent pilot. Taking off from a lake is trickier than it looks. It's not like riding a motorcycle. You've got to be more delicate. Of course I will. You've seen how good I am with the bike, right? You handle the escape then. I'll head for Groznygrad. Wait a minute. There's something I wanted to ask you. It is a new outfit, yeah. What? No, an old outfit, sorry. What's the story between you and the boss? She was like a mother and my master. And your lover? It went deeper than that. Deeper? Half of me belongs to the boss. Do you love her? No, nothing like that. Do you hate her? Does it have to be one or the other? Love or hate? Between a man and a woman? You bet. You bet. For ten years, we lived and died together. You couldn't possibly understand. And you think you can kill her now? Uh. That's your mission, isn't it? Assassinating the boss? Tad low? What do you mean? My voice? Is there anyone you like? Someone special? I've never been interested in other people's lives. You were interested in the boss? She was different. Really? How do you feel about me? Hey, hi, Zuru. I should be asking you the same question. Me? I can fall in love if it's part of the mission. Even with you. Fourth. <laughs> Snake? Not interested. <laughs> Don't move. Off me. What's wrong? <laughs> Why not? Why would you? Air, you know, breathe. See you around, Snake. Take care of yourself. What about you? I've got to hurry back and play my other part. Are you going to be okay? Not sure. They're not stupid, and they know there's a spy. I was a bit off, though. There's no way you could have gotten this far all by yourself. Super bike. The suspension on that bike is unreal. trouble
died before I could get it out of him. Was it the spy then? to keep someone informed of his location. But does this mean Granin was the spy? Perhaps he was being used by someone else. Perhaps. This man was our comrade. Comrade or not, he's of no use to us now. I don't approve of your methods. I don't need your approval. I'm in command here. <laughs> and that nuclear shell? Still feeling sore about that, are you? What are you gonna do? Report it to the authorities? <laughs> this oh. is war, Major. A cold war, fought with information and espionage. We must root out spies wherever they hide. It is kill or be killed. Potential threats must be weeded out. Your feelings are a menace to the unity of our organization. Someone is guiding the enemy's hand. A single man can only accomplish so much. Make no mistake, there is a spy among us. But casting suspicion on our own comrades. The C3 explosives have been stolen. You think it was the American? No. He could not have reached this fortress yet. Then, who? I'd be careful about suspecting your own men. <laughs> Boss! Where have you been? The fear and the end have fallen. CIA dog? That leaves only the fury. How can the legendary Cobras be beaten so easily? He's good. Fallen for him? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll take care of him. <coughs> what is he after? Must Liquid hot magma. <laughs> America is out to destroy the Shagrahad and get its hands on your inheritance. The Philosopher's legacy. What did he have? Impossible. The legacy, it... Look at him there. Gallop on a boat. Then they're out to kill me as well. Colonel, tighten the security on this place. He's coming here. Prodigy. I'm sure of it. I'm gonna get the Davy Crockett. Surprised he's not drunk at this hour. Boots. The horse said no bollocks. Them up Gameplay. Hey, Joyung. Mm. 
noodles. Noodles of noodles. Noodles of taste. Gonna eat Trevor here. Look at Trevor. Look at him. Second goat. All right, now I gotta deal with the fury. It's not the worst fight, but it's kind of annoying. Magnificent goal, that's true, that's true, Prodigy. You're on the ball there. On the friggin' ball. I'm moving. I can shoot you. See nothing. Hey, Trevor. <laughs> I had a small nibble, that's all. Small, quick nibble. beat him here now. What weapons do I want? I could just shoot him with normal guns, I guess. Since I'm kind of not really playing properly. Grenade. We don't need a grenade. Um, try this one. Not sure which weapon actually. I mean, sniper helps when he's far away. Hold on. Should I just use his camo? Fire camo. And it makes me obvious though, that's the only thing. Reduces damage by flames though in half. Kabuki! Let's do zombie. Feel the flames, fury. He really doesn't like bats. 
Hey, Joseph. How you doing, buddy? I am the fury. The flames of my rage will incinerate you. Richard Doyle. Is he the guy that came back from space? Voices big boss. Fourth game. As I returned, I had one vision. The world set ablaze. And do you know what I saw there? Fury. A great and terrible fury at being alive. Now you're going to feel the scorching heat of that horrible blackness. Fire is doing like no damage to me. Crazy. <laughs> I blew him up. Nice. Boss. This is the end of the Copas. The end of the Cobra. Got to live on. You're the only one left. I'm off. To join the sorrow. The sorrow. Control. Do you read me? I'm coming home. I see the earth. I just like. Natural flame. <laughs> Every boss fight is as crazy shit happen at the end. That 
guy is going to space or something. What's the time? All black ants. Can they sting you or infect you or something, Henry? It's like Voldemort <laughs> from Harry Potter. I love the bosses. Ammo. So good. It literally looks great in every environment, like. Alright, the sneaking mission starts. <laughs> yeah. The sneaking. I just realized Corazon updated the World S mod. area lags a bit I think because it's so big excuse me it's a bit cold outside can you give me your jacket hello there sir hello can you hear me sir freeze hey <laughs> Can you feckin' hear me or what? Please don't! It's not what I wanted, you gubshite. Huh. Give me something else. Huh. Useless! Sixty... What's the best ammo for here? Black? Splitter. Splitter looks like the best one. Grozny Grid Northeast. Is there dancing at gunpoint? Yep. Well, they're getting interrogated. If I try and shoot that, we'll alert everyone. Yeah, I will. Okay. to their pants.
I'm in HQ. Where's that? Where's the outfit again? Hold on. I don't see it. Maybe stick on. Hopefully that guy doesn't see me. All right. Get the major's outfit. I think it's PS5 Prodigy, but it might be on Bolt, or is it on Bolt? What the hell is this one I'm getting? destroyed. What the hell is this suit? Like a suit somewhere here. Oh wait, I gotta take care of find out buddy PlayStation 9. <laughs> now it's time to have my way with Raiden. bolt on these <laughs> nobody's just gonna stand up like that in an L in a locker <laughs> oh you did nice decision nice
All right, is it ready for the torture cutscene yet? Hello! Hello there! Is that Father Krilly? Hello, Father! Sir! I'm gonna go get some crisps. About the philosopher's legacy. Like we have a huge meal. I don't know anything about that. Yeah, not huge. What are you? Are you trying to kill me? What's the matter? <gasps> My lantern. I know nothing. I swear it. <gasps> no one but the colonel knows of the legacy. I see. No, don't. Oh. <laughs> I have Anton on fire. I don't know where you're looking. Who's there? You're the man from the CIA. What are you doing here? I told you before, didn't I? I'm going to get you out of here. <laughs> a man of honor, just like your commander. But I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? Don't tell me. The Shagahods. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, Quatch, you come in here accusing this place exactly. of smelling. Of course. Final preparations for oh. phase two are complete. Accuser, yeah. So, Glove, what exactly is phase two? To put it in technical terms, it's a composite range extension system for medium range ballistic missiles. Here we are. Keep it strong. Call me. Shagahod Man, was originally designed so strong, as a tank eh? that could launch nuclear missiles from any oh, type of terrain. <laughs> there was just one problem we couldn't figure out how to solve. The ICBMs we have today are simply too big for the Shagohod to carry. But the military no. would not hear it. No. They demand no. a weapon that could no. launch a what? nuclear missile directly into the American homeland. Man. That is when I Don't. came up no. with the idea. No. It'll be longer with you here. But there's no way you could load an ICBM onto the Shagohod. On so how do you do it? Yes. Still go on a break. A completed prototype now sits in the hangar. At present, it is the only one of its kind. But Volkin is planning to mass produce Won't make a difference. on that prototype and deploy them all over the Soviet Union. Yes, and that's not the end of it. He's going to ship them to Eastern Europe, to Asia, to all the countries of the Eastern Bloc. Even worse, he intends to use the Shagohod as bait no, to foment armed uprisings among dictators, ethnic insurgents, and revolutionary groups throughout the Third World. His funds are nearly limitless. He could start mass production tomorrow if he wanted. The reason that tensions between East and West have settled into a Cold War is because each side fears the other's power. Deterrence. 
The idea of using threats to keep one's enemy in check is the perfect word to sum up this state of affairs. Terror. But the Shago. Need to watch that. So you see, it's already too late. No, it's not too late. What do you mean? We've still got a chance. All we have to do is destroy the prototype and the whole facility before they can mass produce it. But just tell me what I need to do to destroy this place. <laughs> All right. Yeah. The liquid fuel used in the rocket engine is stored in a tank. If you can blow it up somehow. Some C3 ought to be enough to blow the entire hangar to smithereens. C3? You mean that cutting-edge plastic explosive? It could be molded into any shape. The bomb of the future. Where can I get it? Chivago. There was some in the armory here, but it's gone now. <laughs> it was stolen by a female spy who was here a minute ago. Eva? No, that's not her name. Her name is Tatiana. She made her way in here by becoming Volkin's lover. I thought she was your lover. Mine? Oh, no. She is Volgin's lover. This is my lover. Who are they? My wife and daughter. My wife? They're in America. Now I remember. Your family is in the CIA. Now I remember. How long has Tatiana been here? Only a few weeks. A few days before the virtuous mission, then. She said that Khrushchev sent her. What did you just give her? All of the experimental data for the Shagohod. Please, it is essential that you destroy the Shagohod. I will, but first I've got to get you to safety. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not going. My mission is to rescue you. Leave me, Sokolov. Khrushchev has abandoned me. I cannot return to my country. I would most certainly be sent to the gulags. What about the U.S.? Yes, I once thought of that. My family's waiting for me there, but even if I fled to the United States, I would once again find myself creating weapons of mass murder. In the end, it doesn't matter where I go. I am still a weapons scientist. To be honest with you, I'm tired. Every day, I help create things that should never be used. Things that should never have existed in the first place. Every day, without sleep. Without a word of praise from others. And my creations do not even benefit mankind. <laughs> Prodigy, yeah. They are merely the tools of politicians. What guy? All I wanted to do was... Skip, skip, skip. Oh. Like nobody explained why Nick has a Raiden costume. Major, what are you doing here? I've been waiting for you in my room. <laughs> Grab my balls, what the fuck, dude? Who are you? <laughs> Don't play dumb with me. I thought I could tell by his balls. You think you can fool me? You're sorely mistaken. I know the Major better than anyone else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so weird. I come here looking for Tatiana, and what should I find? But a greasy freebooter. Oh. 
Damn it, boss. It's gonna rub off on you. And then you'll lose sight of who you really are. Oh, Volgun's down for like ages. Stay out of this. I see why they call you the boss. <laughs> what was that? Some kind of judo? No, it's called CQC, a basic form of close quarters combat. He and I developed it together. Splendid. I'll take it from here. Are you going to kill him? <sighs> of course. But first, I will make him pay. For hurting Ivan. So it's like, I'm not saying nothing. Knock his balls. Like he's just bathering the hell out of him. Ah. <laughs> the sounds he makes. Ah. Hey, Night Shroud. Snake should have just used a handkerchief on him when he came in. Then he would have fell asleep. No problem at all. No problemo. Are they going to do all the cutscenes? Good question. The length of time it takes to save is just... Kill me! Stop it! Who have you been talking to? He doesn't know what you're talking about. You'd better start talking. Please, stop this! <laughs> Who is Khrushchev's lapdog? How can you do this to him? I know you gave the data to someone. I never did. Like you! Guess he's dead. Now then, I hope you'll prove more 
entertaining than he was. But first, let's take a look at your body, shall we? Hmm. You've certainly seen your share of battles. <laughs> Consider yourself lucky. lucky. I'm about to show you what hell is really like. Oh, I'll show you. Well then, let's get started. What is your target? Is it the Shagohad? Or Sokolov? Or maybe it's the Legacy? Answer me! Who is helping you? Who let you in here? You're a tough one, but even you must have your limits. And I am a patient man. How are you now? You're a man at all, you crazy light lightning bolt crazy mofo. Here's where the fun really begins. My body carries an electric charge of 10 million volts. Let's see how you like this. Now answer me. How much does the CIA know? Yeah, an NDA. Yeah, to my legacy, aren't they? Your real target is the philosopher's legacy, isn't it? It's no use. He's not going to talk. He's been trained not to break. Trained by me. Admit it! We're after the location of the legacy! The secret fund established by the three great powers during the two world wars. That's what you're looking for, isn't it? One hundred billion dollars, divided up and hidden all over the world. And you're looking for a record of where all that money is hidden, right? No matter. The Philosopher's legacy is safely in my possession. In the underground vault of Groznikrat. You'll never live. What's this? A transmitter? Who's responsible for this? I am. I planted it on him to keep track of his movements. Why? So the Cobras could ambush him. If they knew where he was going to be, they wouldn't have gotten themselves slaughtered. It pains me to do this, boss, but under the circumstances, I'm afraid I must ask you to show me some proof that you and he were not in collusion. You don't trust me, is that it? Not that, but he is your apprentice. What do you want me to do? Let's see. Cut out his eyes. I don't like those blue eyes of his. There's nothing more important to a soldier than his eyes. You made him a soldier, 
And now you will unmake him. Yes, it'll make for a touching display. <laughs> hey, Cass, what's up? He's all yours. Do it. Do it. Ruin him, just as he did the Cobras. by a Duracell rabbit. <laughs> Why are you protecting him? That smell. Tatiana, you're the spy. What are you talking about? I know that smell. Stop it! Taking a fancy tour, eh, Ocelot? No. I have no interest in this woman. <laughs> I want to test her. I'll let this be the judge. Do as you like. Here we go. Son. There, satisfied now. <laughs> well, that was refreshing. <laughs> Come, we're going to my room. Time to my room. So you survived the Colonel's torture, eh? Watching this has made me realize something. <laughs> it's really not that bad. It's the ultimate form of expression. All right. <laughs> You got lucky this time, Tatiana. Beaten up, and now you're shooting me in my leg. One, four, four points, Run. seven, five. I've prepared an escape route for us. Go out and head west, pass underneath the connecting passageway, and go north. You'll find an open manhole there. You're quiet. Go through the manhole down into the sewers. The door at the north end of the sewers is unlocked. You can use it to get outside the fortress. I've got your equipment. We'll meet up later. The demo? Eva. Yeah, yeah. But I can't.
can't get too close to your cell. You'll have to figure a way out of there yourself. Yeah, if you bought MGS, you get a demo for uh, Silent Hill, I think. I'll be in touch. Two bozos. How do you get uh, Johnny to talk here in the cell? I forget. What's all that noise? What are you doing? What? You don't want this? Huh? What's all that noise? What are you doing? Go for a sleep here. Take death pill. Transmitter. We keep that transmitter and we get a different cutscene later on. Hey, thanks. Thanks, chat, for being in my stream today. Shelby, how you doing? Shelby Company Limited. Hey, 
Heat up! Hey, you're not such a bad guy after all. I, uh, <laughs> I guess not all Americans are dogs. You mean it? Yeah. You know, before the war started, I used to live in America. I even had a, a wife and a kid. You must be pretty lonely. Yeah, I am pretty lonely. Really lonely. What's your kid's name? Johnny. Johnny, nice ring to it. Really? You like it? <laughs> well, if you say so, I'll believe you. Actually, my name is Johnny too. My name is Johnny too. All the firstborn sons in my family are called Johnny. What about Johnny Five? My dad's a Johnny, and my son's son will probably be a Johnny too. Whole clan of Johnnies. Why do we have a Cold War anyway? Our two countries used to be such good friends. Yeah, I hear you. I just want to see my family again. It must be rough. Yeah. Not as rough as you have it, though. Here. I filched them from your equipment when the colonel wasn't looking. Cigarette. It's uh, the least I can do. Johnny Five. Well? Don't suppose you could let me out of here? Huh? Well, I can't do that. Hey, don't you go getting any funny ideas. If you try to escape, I'll have to shoot you. I've said too much. I gotta go. Yeah, I haven't seen Short Circuit in ages, Prodigy, for sure. <sighs> Steve Gutenberg. Steve Gutenberg's still alive. Which way did he go? Time to eat. Why is it not working? The other people have I held up? Uh, not too much. <laughs> Honest. A few, like. I did uh, hold up one or two. But maybe not. I was mostly uh, getting spotted every time. I'm terrible at this. Follow me. Did you manage to escape? Yeah, I'm out. Be careful. In your present state, you're practically naked. You don't have a single decent weapon, and you'll never survive in a battle. Take some time and pull yourself together. Eva says she's recovered your equipment, so rendezvous with her as soon as possible to get your gear back. Ooh. Use the escape route Eva set up for you. Go down into the sewers through the manhole in the northwest section of Groznygrad. Start out by exiting the holding cells and heading northwest. 
So hard to do this section like stealth only. It's like. No fucking way, dude. Seriously. I was literally going out the door and then suddenly... real quick and I can get out of here all right sake man the minute I went out the door so annoying Who's that? What's going on? Radio, like how are you supposed to actually get out of here without being spotted nuts Go, 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 gadget, go. Like on the European extreme, it's like crazy area. You have to be very careful. It's a prison break. sees me i mean snake you're already in the sewers eva yeah i just got down here hmm. i'm coming to meet you now the door at the north end is open right uh, snake let me guess there's a problem yeah what is it this time the colonel found out you escaped he did huh i figured as much yeah and now all of grozny grad is on red alert just my luck but once I'm out of the fortress... You can't get out. I can't? When the fortress went on red alert, they sealed off the sewers. You've got to be kidding me. I'm serious. And that means the escape route I laid out is... is sealed off, too. Right. And they just sent a unit out looking for you. Down here? Uh-huh. They'll be there any minute now. You've got to get out quick. But isn't the exit sealed off? You should be able to get out by heading straight north. Book it, Snake. If they find you, you're dead. You're dead. Okay. Down, down, 
down in. All the enemies start finding me. I go. Go, gadget, go, go. Da -na 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 -na. Wait, let's go, Johnny, go. No, you're not supposed to do that. Shit, not good. Damn dog, go away, dog. Bad dog. Supposed to be in your kennel. Go home, dog. Music is great. Run, bitch! Run! No. I've been waiting for this. Get your panties in a bunch. Draws a lot. <laughs> I'll save you, bro. Boy, the sorrows bit. Huh. I love how everyone behind them doesn't give a shit. How come you and not me? Everyone's just in the back, like, what do we do now? I don't know. <laughs> You're a sexy devil, that's my prodigy. We could just skip this bit, guys. Maybe I'll do that. Are you one of the cobras? Sad. So sad. A host of sorrows.
I too am filled with sadness. This world is one of sadness. Battle brings death. Yeah, you can uh, heat up. Death brings sorrow. Yeah, I just go on a break then. The living. You take out the fake death pen and use it here. Oh, we can't use that. Okay. I forgot. Actually, we could just put on the cigar. Get your ass to Mars. Thank you, Shun. You're thinking of Izuru. Means thank you. I was so confused when I first saw this all those years ago. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And then, of course, I was stuck for ages because you didn't know, like. You're supposed to use the revival pill. No such thing as Donkey Sheila, anyway. <laughs> Freeze! Unless you're thanking a specific person. Holding his balls. Zombies. Yeah, Ashley's been here for I think most of the stream. so cool to see actually what happens between the boss and the sorrow. Like that would make for actually good movie or television. 
They did a right leg. Of course, I wouldn't have them faith in them at this point. Wrecking ball part. Do you want any, any tips on that prodigy? If you do, just let me know. I know you probably don't, though. Well, oh, there he is. There was the sorrow. He's gone now. Snake, are you alright? That was a close call. What the hell happened to me? You were halfway drowned at the bottom of the river. Almost crossed over to the other side. How does he know this? He's on a fucking plane. What the so that really was. Something on your mind, Snake? Ridiculous. Major, was there a man in the Cobra unit called the Sorrow? Yeah, I've heard of him. He was an uncanny soldier who fought alongside the boss. What kind of man was he? The Sorrow was a man with, well, special powers. He had ESP, which was the subject of extensive research in the Soviet Union at the time. He was especially gifted as a medium. A medium? Someone who can communicate with the spirit world and evoke the spirits of the dead. In other words, he could talk to ghosts. They say he could find out what was going on in a battle by talking to dead soldiers. What about him and the boss? What was the story between them? I don't know the details. Why don't we ask Sigin? Yo, I finished checking up on this Sorrow guy a while ago. Thought you guys already knew, though. Knew what? That he's dead. He's been dead for two years now. Died two years ago? At Salino Yarsk. You know, those cliffs you were at. And the boss is the one who did him in. The boss? Yep. Two years ago, the boss was sent by the CIA on a secret mission to Salino Yarsk. That's when she met the Sorrow, who'd gone back to the Soviet Union after the Cobras broke up at the end of the war. Except this time, they were enemies. And then what? Enemies? The boss killed the Sorrow herself and accomplished her mission. At least, that's what the records say. So, he was never there in the first place. He just couldn't let go of the boss. You okay, Snake? Yeah, I'm fine. It looks like it's not time for me to die yet. I sure hope not. Otherwise, the whole mission is shot. We're counting on you, pal. It's Roger that. too chill. They can just like... Yeah. Eva? Snake, you didn't call. I was worried. Are you all right? Jesus, I was yeah. drowning. What do you want me to do? A pretty freaky detour. What are you talking about? Nothing. Forget it. Let's just say I'm back. Good. But how did you escape from the sewers? I jumped into the river. From all the way up there? You're out of control. Yeah. I got carried away by the current and almost drowned. Great. That's perfect. What do you mean, that's perfect? I mean, if you ended up in the river, then I know a good spot nearby. Let's meet up there. Where is it? Keep going upstream until you get to a waterfall. A waterfall, huh? Right. Behind that waterfall, there's a cave. We'll meet in there. The cave behind the waterfall upstream. Got it. See you there. Thanks, Mark. You're a feckin' pro at that game now. All right, let's go. Let's see if I can find a horse I can shoot. Prodigy, where are you? Oh, let me wait till I get a hold you now. Shoot you in the face. And then I'll say, why the long face? I mean, why the long face? All shut up. I mean, uh. Vegetables.
Trying not to get spotted on European Extreme is pain in the ass. Might as well just shoot them and alert them. Fuck it. How did you... What the hell? I'm shooting this guy in the face. Am I just blind or something? Dude, this guy is strong as hell. Wait. I'm trying to run away, alright? I want to kick your ass. Hey. I love how, like, they hit you from, like, fucking miles away when you're, like, not that near at all. Here we go, now I can beat you up, you fucker. That's right. Yeah, now. Stay dead. Guy. I just refused to friggin' die, so he did. Okay, tell me how you're supposed to hold up these guys when they can see where you are. Dude, how did I do that? That was sick. Deflected the grenade back towards me. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh shit. How did I do that? Hey, Justin. You found nothing. Rigged, I tell you. This section is just bullshit. You have like none of your normal weapons, and then you're supposed to like somehow magically get past these guys. Give me a break. see me if I move. Who's gonna see me if I don't move? One or the other. Okay, he didn't see me there. Oh. 
Maybe if I use like food to like distract them. You know, just like throw it. Then it'll pop up somewhere. Then they'll get distracted. Maybe. Maybe that would work. If I was actually trying to do that without being seen. Here's your equipment. Eva, you could use a towel. So could you. So could you. Someone tells you the bar is closed. Hey, Kathy, is the food almost ready? 10 minutes? Oh, okay. Ah, uh, there's just a cutscene coming up, so I thought if it was just about ready, I could leave the cutscene playing while I go. Cutscene could take 10 minutes for all I know. snakes not for dinner mm. didn't you have to eat them at the kgb in my training we always got the good stuff french italian that kind of thing a regular mahari the least you could do is call me cynthia cynthia tell me something how does it feel to spy on your own country i can't say it feels good but it's my job can't even eat a snake during a mission, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't mind eating one. Can't even eat a snake. Look at this. Like. When this mission's over, you'll have to treat me to a nice dinner. What do you want to eat? Let's see. How about sushi? Sushi? It's Japanese. I hear it's all the rage right now. Sushi. Supposedly, it's made from raw fish. Raw fish? Just the place for my survival techniques. Snake? Thank you, Snake. I'll be your eyes from now on. I'm searching and I'm welcome to yes. I guess I'm on his eye that's not there. What a fear in my on the eye patch. But you're so supreme. Thank you. Snake. La la. Fire is starting, lads. Get off me. Don't worry about it. Are you alright? 
It's not like I can't see. I've got one good eye and can still fire a gun. Really? Good. Snake. <laughs> here for a minute. Just cut scene. There's something in here. I love this cut scene. <laughs> so good. So hard. Oh. <laughs> when did it get like that? Hold still. Let me do it. You know, I've been trained to do this mm -hmm. kind of thing myself. Just relax and let me handle it. Okay. I can't believe how small it is. <laughs> yeah, but it gets the job done. Really? Um. Here, lift up your hips. Like this? Yeah. <laughs> How's that? You're pretty good at that. Yeah, everybody tells me that. Oh, hold steady, I'm not done yet. There, a transmitter. Uh, is that how they do it in the KGB? Sometimes. Would you rather I did it American style? <laughs> How'd you know there was a transmitter lodged there? That's some female intuition you've got. How did you not know Snake is the real question? And a professional. Eva, didn't you steal some explosives out of the fortress? C3, a highly potent explosive from the West. It can be molded into any shape, like clay. With just this much, you could blow up the Shagohat and the lab along with it. Is that right? Yeah, but there's a trick to using it. Tell me about it. Well, what do you think? The Shagohod's booster unit uses liquid fuel. The fuel tanks are in the main wing of the weapons lab in the hangar housing the Shagohod itself. So I should blow up the tanks? That's the basic idea. It should be enough to blow up the entire hangar. There are four fuel tanks. In order to destroy the hangar, you'll have to set explosives on each of those tanks. All four of them? It should be no sweat for you. Besides, the scientists have the day off today. So the hangar's completely deserted. Not quite. They've still got guards posted there. So what do I do after I set the C3? The bombs run off a timer. Once the timer has been set, the countdown will begin. When the timer reaches zero, the bombs will all go off at once. How long do I have? 20 minutes. Once the phase two trials are finished, I wouldn't be surprised if they kill all the scientists to prevent them from talking. So you've got to act fast. I'll take care of it. Eva, did you get the data on the Shagohod from Sokolov? Yeah, that's the mission I was given. By Khrushchev? Mm-hmm. America doesn't have any use for it, does it? Huh. But I haven't forgotten my other mission either. Helping you out. <laughs> Follow this cave and go up the ladder at the end. You'll come out inside Groznygrad, just southwest of the weapons lab. Gonads. Do you remember when you went to rescue Sokolov? Remember there was a locked door when you entered the main wing from the second floor of the east wing? Yeah. That's the entrance to the Shagohod's hangar. Cheers. Use this key to open that door. The door right when I entered the main wing? Got it. Got it. What about you? I'll get things ready for our escape. There's a rail bridge to the north. I'm gonna set a bomb there, so I'm taking half of the C3 with me. Right. I'll set off the weapons lab then. Try not to be in the neighborhood when it happens. Gotcha. And watch out for Ocelot. He suspects you're not who you say you are. Don't worry. 
The Colonel still trusts me. And I have my ways. There's not a man alive who can resist my charms. Mm -hmm. Besides you, of course. I'm just warning you, Eva. That's all. I know. Okay, let's go. Just warning you. You seem like you were born on one of those. <laughs> if I didn't ride every day, I couldn't go on living. Huh? When I'm riding, the wind hits me so hard that it hurts. That pain keeps my mind off the pain of having to be someone else. It's not easy always fooling myself like this. It's only when I'm on the bike that I'm free to be the real me. I only get off my bike when I fall in love or fall dead. What's your name? Tatiana. No. Your real name. <laughs> What's wrong with Tanya? Uh, okay, Tanya. Don't let anyone see you. Huh? Oh, this? It's a button camera. What did you do that for? Insurance. To make sure you don't double cross me. Oh, yeah, and I'm supposed to trust you? If you're doing shit like that? Tanya. I said Tatiana and then Tanya. Is that the same name? <laughs> what the fuck? I never understood that. Alright. Uh, this, this. I think I need a machine gun right now. E3. That should do really. For a knife. Do 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 boom boom ba boom bam do 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 K forty seven. We're begging for range. Ah, camera box B. Crappy ration. There is. I think it was this one, wasn't it? Up we go.
Got the moves. Heck's sake, why'd you have to park there, buddy? Now I can't get out that way. Bullets not work when you shoot them in the head. God damn it. This is HQ. Control here. The enemy is attacking from an unknown position. Begin the alert status. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. It's the enemy. And that fucking leg can take a pounding. <laughs> I was just messing with that guy shooting his leg. <laughs> Shoot him? I didn't notice. Funny, you shoot them with the trank and they like ignore it. When they shoot them with the gun, of course, they don't ignore it. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? These guys just don't like falling down, do they?
What a dodgy way to get in this facility. <laughs> We're walking for that guy, yeah. No more future for that guy either. No more future for him. Scientist time. Ho oh ho. Okay, I don't have any cigarettes. Let me see. Damn it. Try that. Whoop. Gonna burn my tongue anyway. Oh, I just took it off. So we're about to eat. Man! I like how it feels, don't you? Yeah. Like yours, huh? Man! Styling? It's ready? You can put it on the plate. Snake, I see you've managed to sneak into the hangar. Yeah, the Shagahod's in here. No. The completed phase two Shagahod represents a grave threat to the West. We can't allow it to be mass produced. You've got to destroy it. Eva's got the data on the Shagahod. Do you think that's safe? Well, I wouldn't exactly say it's safe, but Khrushchev is a shrewd leader. I can't imagine he'd use it for anything other than deterrence. Volgin, however, is a different story. He's planning to use the Shagahod to turn the cold bore into a blazing hot one. We can't let him have it. Agreed. Agreed. That leaves just one more mission for you to carry out. The boss. Exactly. <sighs> for now, just focus on destroying the Shagahod. Yes, sir. I'll let Sigint fill you in on how to destroy it. Yo! Like Eva was saying, if you're looking to blow the whole place sky high, the best way is to take out those liquid fuel tanks with the C3. You know, there's four tanks in there, right? You have to put C3 on all four of them. To plan a C3 charge, all you gotta do is equip the C3 and press the weapon button while standing in front of a tank. Just like TNT. But uh, make sure you don't plant it in the wrong place. You barely got enough C3 as it is, right? Good point. I'll make sure not to plant it anywhere else. Good, man. And be careful. Liquid fuel has a nasty habit of going off at the slightest shot. So don't go using any heavy firepower near the tanks unless you're aiming to get yourself barbecued. I'll keep that in mind. The C3 charges all have to go off at once if you want to bring down the hangar in one fell swoop. C3. So if I were you, I'd wait until after you plant the last charge to start the timer mechanism. All right. I'll make sure I finish planting all four charges before I start the timer. Once the timer's set, you've got 20 minutes until it explodes, right? So make sure you get your ass out of that place by then. I think that's about all I've got. The rest is up to you. Good luck, pal. We're counting on you, Snake. We're counting on you, Snake. Okay, I gotta go eat food now, guys. So, hope you enjoy the downtime while I'm eating. I'll be back and then we can finish the game and whatnot. Might take us another, I don't know, two hours or so. We'll see. I'm streaming already eight hours, so. Dang, it's a long stream today, folks. Anyway, uh, be right back screen is on. And, uh, yeah. Enjoy chilling in the chat. Go get a drink or whatever you're doing. Get yourself something to eat if you're coming back. Hit the like button as well. Hold on, I haven't actually said hit the like button. How many likes have we, are we on? Nobody hits the like button anymore these days. I have to remind everyone 20 times. Most of the time people are lazy. We need that for going hunting an elephant. Exactly. That's what I'm doing, Trevor. All right, I'll be back, guys. Enjoying my food. See you in a bit. Place is stomping sounds as well with that. 
So it was like the OG one. <laughs> I don't even know who sang that song, Jasek, so you're sadder than me. Because <laughs> you knew the name. <laughs> can't catch me I'm so fast guys you can't catch me <laughs> I'd love to be the guy that guy does not me why not be she trying to be I'll Arnie be and Predator here no thanks I'll keep sitting here looking for hostiles let's talk before looking gentlemen get off your asses yes sir <laughs> and like he wouldn't scream from getting his fucking Wait, why is there two bodies? Huh? I thought I killed one guy. What the fuck? Did they- Thank Christ! Oh no, I don't want that. I wanted this! Damn, I have no space for that. <laughs> the liquor was licking Wesker's bollocks there, so he was. <laughs> Someone needs to clip that. Guess we gotta go to the window. Hey, Taylor, check this out. Check what out? My big dick. No. Don't think anyone <laughs> visited for a long time. Oh, yeah. And that's ten bucks you owe me. Don't owe you squat. I never took the bet. Fair enough. It's loose. I can jimmy this open. No nope. please. Mm, which way can I go here? <clears throat> Aha. We hit the mother load, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, we definitely hit the fucking model out there. <laughs> hit the explosion load. And I've been streaming for two hours, so how many deaths have I had? And there's another one. Good stuff. Just to reiterate, these are the rules, folks. In case some of you, uh... Yeah. Whoa. Sorry. Wait. What are you oh, thinking? Oh, shit. Jill. Jill. <laughs> Jill. 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 Scared me, dude. Jill. 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 Hey Big Boss, thanks for your content. It really helps me get through my work day. Here Sound. is a token of my appreciation. Check out Back for Blood. Looks fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is what so you're sending me this to to get me to play Back for Blood. Just to reiterate, these are the rules. Oh for God's sake! Oh no, I just saved it. I just saved it. Oh, oh, I saved myself. Whoa. Dude. That was jammy. That was pure jammy. I believe I can fly. I believe I can dodge them things. I think about it every night and day. Oh yeah, baby. Stop complaining, Jesus Christ. Look, he's already fucking after hurting himself, like. I literally healed him two seconds ago and he's already after going into caution. 
a fucking play thing. Yeah, well, that's your own fault. You know why? Because you just walked right into a fucking enemy, you moron. You deserve to die, to be honest. Acting like a fucking dingus. Boss fight time. Ah! Gun survivor. <laughs> uh, 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 fuck, scared me. Jesus. Draw weapons? No. Did you hit 50 likes now, boss? Because my, my like thing was uh, being a bollocks. It says 50 now, yeah. Yeah, there we go. It, it registered. It's a fucking thing. Um, hey, I got a new perk. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Uh, it feels nice to get them hard ones out the way. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I bet it is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three, and then jump back. <laughs> <laughs> Who put that in the game? Like, what if you did that by accident? <laughs> you were like in this level, and you just... <laughs> oh, that's fucking good. Oh no! How did you know? How did you know? I was naked on the beach. My legs spread, and I was giving myself a Brazilian wax. What? Yeah, I know. I can't believe it too. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> that was well timed there. That was well timed there, Ada. <laughs> I can't believe it's not butter. Can you? Virus. Well, not that bad actually. To be fair, I could be worse. Could be worse. Could be way worse. Be three sheets to the wind. <laughs> Is it in English? Rest in peace. Well, we found some English in the game. <laughs> Fucking brilliant. Fucking love this mod. Fucking brilliant, guys. Fucking brilliant. This fun mod is fun brilliant. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Fun. You know what the emotes like? Them pronouncing the emotes and stuff. I don't think I can turn that off. Abfahren. Abfahren. Hey Andrew, what's going on, man? Help him out, smile. <laughs> Thanks for the second. Open mouth smile, open mouth smile, open mouth smile, lol, open mouth smile. <laughs> open mouth smile, open mouth smile. I ain't gonna. I was just like Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Knuckles? Shit. I'm mixing up my Chris's. I'm Chris Crossing. <laughs> Not Animal Crossing, I'm Chris Crossing. <laughs> oh my god, that's such a dumb fucking joke. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Run, bitch. Why isn't this motherfucker running, dude? This guy doesn't know how to run all of a sudden? Are you fucking kidding me? the best start. Jesus Christ. This is insanity, dude. This is a little unexpected. There.
Oh, ah. <laughs> Holy fuck, that scared me. Holy fuck. Oh. Right into the mic there, BB. Come on up. <laughs> Call him daddy? There you go. I'm gonna, yeah, watch this. Come on up. <laughs> I said it there. <laughs> no, you were just quoting the question. <laughs> hey, daddy was in it, so he didn't ah. say how to say it. Ah, oh, come on, Jeff. Fuck yeah. Oh. What am I supposed to say? Daddy? <laughs> oh, Jesus, that's creepy. <laughs> that is... Mr. Moore. Ah, uh, <laughs> That's just the donav donation sound here. All right. Simon Br no, that's Simon Brits in the same, same, same sexy voice. So Simon just said, call Con... Yeah. Hey, you'll be safe. What the? Oh my god. <laughs> now here's a weird fucking door. You know, it's one thing to keep the truth from me. That fucking grunt. That's my turn. Guessing it's infinite ammo. Let's go to the store this time and not get electrocuted. <laughs> <laughs> that walking animation. <laughs> Why is that fucking funny? <laughs> oh, that's like the, it's like he's got super determination there climbing the stairs. like. Might be because it's two of them. I'll reload in a sec. I'm just. I don't think. I'm not getting any hit markers at all here. Let's see if they can kill me now. Hold on. Oh fuck, they're glitching me into the wall. Uh oh, oh, I crashed the game. <laughs> Parts, we need to get out of here. Is that guy actually helping or is he, is he being weird? <laughs> well, oh, yeah. he's here. Jason's here. Ah! Oh, oh that's Lou. Oh, he's in the car. Oh. What? <laughs> Angel. They see the helper. Yeah, nice one. Whoa. Whoa! What the hell just happened there with the car? What the, fuck <laughs> the car went spinning, flipping out. <laughs>
I just wanted to clip the green screen is showing. No. I am back. Oh, I forgot. I put my glasses. I have them on me. Yes. Yes. Genius boss. Yes, it's on you. I'm a genius. Play the game now for five or so minutes with this eye patch. It hurts a little bit. If it starts getting bad, though, take it off. You know the one to be. Like, do I? Hey, look, there's I look like him now because I'm wearing the glasses. Hey, what's up, Drew? Judy? I don't know about that now. How are you doing? Did you make any more women mad? Now, earphones. My codec. Which one is the real boss? I don't know. <laughs> The one moving around like an Aegis is probably not the real boss. Damn it. Eye patch is just... I don't know. It looks weird, doesn't it? My left eye. Oh, that's why. The fucking band is in the wrong place. Up here. That's why. Ah, much better. Out of my face. Uh, the heat woke you up. Controller. Am I again? I am here. Right. Can I use the C3 with this costume? No, I can't. I think they don't notice me. Okay, so scientist outfit doesn't work. Somebody. I'm a scientist, stop shooting. You don't need to go calling on the police. Is it where you are, Drew? How do they keep like resetting the alerts? I don't understand this. Like, I actually got away, and yet they're resetting the alerts. Music is so good. And when you're being chased, it's like, and this is exciting. Keep 
kidding me? I'm the worst stealth person ever, I swear. in those guys all right they're not gonna help you you fucking baby bunch of freaking babies like all right let's restart the room At least now I know the scientist outfit doesn't do jack shit. <clears throat> For God's sake, I have... Where did all my food go, man? Did they really take all the food? Cook all my food, guys. saw me just now who saw me what oh my god this game makes no sense dude For fuck's sake okay i kind of was standing in the open i guess so probably was like could have been anyone there that could have saw me Plus fifty. Probably should have picked up. Um, thanks for the welcome back. Even though it's late as fuck, but anyway. <laughs> These friggin' engineers are just useless. Get this sequence done, I won't take it off the eye patch. <laughs> Pretty hard to see shit. There's anyone here, but that doesn't mean that there's no one is here.
You done. Snake? Eva. I finished planting the bomb on the rail bridge. If we get rid of the bridge, the enemy won't be able to follow us. That should at least buy us some time. I've also set up the escape route. How are things going on your That didn't end? buy us any time. I just finished planting the second charge. Give me a little more time. Okay. I'll be waiting for you at the bridge. You know why it didn't buy us any time? Because there's like a million enemies chase us after that section. <laughs> it's like... It didn't, it didn't do anything. It didn't help us in any way. Shape or form. Life medicine. They did a new patch. They're trying to fix the maps that were broken. Maybe they broke Wesker again and we don't have to play against them. Let me see if I can shoot this guy here. Noodles. I don't really care about noodles. Hopefully nobody else is up here. This is hurting my eye. Having to focus so much. Okay, this is the last one. We get a cutscene. Man, this is the cutscene I should have had for dinner. Bro. Oh, much better. Oh, that hurts. you this time got you this time finished planting the C3. I'm on my way out now. Hurry, Snake. Is Eva taking care of the escape route? Yeah. Are you sure? She can handle it. All right, then. We'll hurry up and get out of there. Nobody really questions why we never met Adam, you know? Snake! Why'd you come back? Hey, Sorrow. Hey, buddy.
This woman was found snooping around my underground vault. When she was captured, look what we found on her. The philosopher's legacy. This microfilm contains all the information regarding the legacy. You might say that this film itself is the philosopher's legacy. It was the smell that gave her away. No, not the perfume. It was gasoline. Motorcycle gasoline. She reeked of it. To think that lovely Tatiana was a spy. Tatiana. We this radio along with her too. Such a fine woman she was. It almost pains me to have to kill her. <laughs> yes, she was an obedient one. She was my precious little pet. Look at them gloating, huh? Isn't that right? What was that? Do you have something to say to me? Go to hell. You dirty whore. I've had enough. Kisses from you. <laughs> I should have known. Sokolov wasn't man enough to have a lover like that. Just like the KGB to send something so beautiful, yet so deadly. What is the philosopher's legacy? Very well. I'll explain it before I kill you. During the last great war, the most powerful men in America, China, and the Soviet Union... Okay, I can, skip, I can skip this one. I need to hear that one. I have lost the Cobras, but I still have the Shagohod and the Legacy. There is nothing America can do to stop us. Boss, take this someplace safe. Take good care of it. He wouldn't have come waltzing back in here unless he had a reason. The C-3's been stolen. He must be planning some sort of sabotage. I'll go see if there are any surprises waiting for us. I'll dispose of her as well. Leave everything to me. Fight like a warrior, Volgan. But of course. <laughs>
Let me face him. I've been waiting for this moment. Time to get even. Ah, no more judo and no more field strips. <sighs> Enough of this. He's mine. You will stand right there and watch. Got it? Please, Colonel, let me... Silence! Sorry for the delay. No problem. Let's get started, shall we? Ah! This guy doesn't like pressing buttons. He's just like, I'm gonna electrocute that panel. Oh, I'm getting sweaty here in this outfit. This is a once in a lifetime battle. Let's make it a good one. Mark. Chat is, I guess, many people around today or something.
halfway. Electric bill. <laughs> Shoot him! Do you hear me? I said shoot him! Sorry, Colonel. I'm afraid I can't do that. What do you mean you can't? I made a promise to the boss. Silence! I am your commanding officer. <laughs> My authority! Fight like a man, Volgin. Volgin? Emergency. Explosives have been detected. All non EOD personnel must evacuate immediately. Ocelot. EOD find those bombs Repeat <laughs> yeah pretty much cash on the same side but the other side Move and it. a side in the middle huh. <laughs> guy just doesn't know where he wants to be I am your commanding officer. Ready for some more snake? I'm ready for you to lose, buddy. Time to die. Shit, I fucked up because I, I didn't get up at the right speed. up there. Oh. I might die here now. Not careful. Does that damn bye bye? <laughs> we on him. <laughs> and wouldn't I end up getting electrocuted if I did that? There's bombs, but there's also time to look at uh, your friendly neighborhood. Thank you. I beat him so badly, he's bleeding internally. Yeah, this is no, this is hard, Trevor. It's pretty easy to do. On friggin' extreme, though, it's, it's a nightmare. I have it done on my channel, but man. Repeat, all personnel evacuate. Faster! Uh, uh, this 
gonna die Evacuate. mgs2 european stream yeah i think that's definitely worse than this this game's european extreme this one's pretty bad had enough time to leave to be fair Don't give up. Get moving. hey john lums what's up Eva. how did you the boss let me go the boss why i'll tell you later right now we've got to get to the lake and right now we gotta focus we on eva's yet. boobs i've still got one last job to do is already at the lake. Huh? She's at the lake. She's waiting for you there. Waiting for me. All the Johnnies, yes. I was hoping I wouldn't have to tell you. <laughs> is that emo actually of the geckos? I don't want you to fight her. <laughs> That's awesome, cat. But I... I've come to realize that there's a special relationship between you two. Something... We really need to... Understand. You Something know, that goes beyond a man and a woman. I'm we'll gonna talk here while... I envy you. It's happening. Really, I do. But... I guess I just can't understand it. She asked me to tell you something. I've uh -huh. never seen someone with such clear eyes. Such clear eyes. There. I said it. Ready to go? Yeah. It's spam RPG time. Comment just I, I can't read it. Does someone need to approve a comment? I don't only I only see I only see I <laughs> All right, I already have it on. Okay. USA, USA, USA. Shotgun, RPG. Oh, yeah, the M20. That should be enough for this bit. Music, music here is just fucking perfect. I can't 
can do like a tiny bit of damage up before the boss fight later on. Oh, yeah. hit this guy because he keeps putting shit in the way. It's a good thing nobody shot our tires. Flying motorbikes in this game. under the bullets quick stole my weapon dick be magic there welcome back swift welcome back oops man can't see shit pick off the crockhead then yeah i'm not shooting <laughs> I can't get the guy up top. Shit, missed him. Okay, 
got him this time. here. <laughs> I should probably use something else. I'm having too much fun with the rocket launcher. 51 likes? You mean I've only got one like since I left? What the fuck is the story like? This is the other 20 likes I was expecting. Let's go to the infinite runway. You guys are really good at shooting. I especially love the way you shot the tires. Oh wait, you didn't do that. You guys suck. to shoot them. He can just drive over them. <laughs> it's like... What the fuck is this stupid... Dude, what is this helicopter doing? <laughs> He's just like, I'm just going to land here and pick up one soldier while this giant mech is coming at me. Yeah, let's do that. Sounds like a great plan. For fuck's sake. Just stay in the air, you idiot. dramatic <laughs> like, dude you, why did you do that you didn't need to land the fucking helicopter and he could have ran off the the runway with his fucking legs like why is he Surely someone will get in the line of fire. <laughs> Need for speed movies? You mean Fast and Furious? Dude, I'd be dan I'd be on the dance floor if this was playing at my like when I was like going to discos. I'd be on the dance floor like just tearing this shit up. Music is the shit. I've got a surprise for you. You won't be getting away this time. Haha, <laughs> Ocelot. Like, how does he see him? <laughs> He's like looking back like he can see him, but... He's looking through the entire tank. Mexican food?
Crocodile head. Gives me strength, guys. Wasting my ammo? Yeah. Not like I have infinite. Shit. Press the wrong button there. Hey, Jacob. All you can manage. Oh, I have to shoot these uh, bombs now, don't I? Where's my croc cap? I had it on a second ago. What's going on? <laughs> Time dilation? Well, I'm not going back in time. I don't know what. <laughs> Lost your gun again. We did it. Have I ever missed them? Yep. Wow. 
Freaking dinosaurs. It's over. Look. In this game, there's no add ons. Lagging. What? The lag is real. Joke though. Did we beat him? No. Turning into Wesker. So 
yourself as bait? Are you insane? I'm used to this guy. I know how to handle him. She did not have enough time to move there. <laughs> Juice when he's on the thing. He can only run into you. He's, he, he seriously is Brian Fury. Like, okay. <laughs> it's like if, if this was Tekken, this guy is Brian Fury. It's just a nutcase cyborg. Sick, I missed. Wait, why do I keep missing him? What? Was stupid. I need to pick up some ammo or something. Chill for a sec. One more time. If I can just not miss my shot here, I'll be good. There we go. Got it. Hell yeah. Snake. That wasn't that hard, really. But... Kept missing my shots. Snake! Who's afraid of a little thunder? Got hit by 1.21 gigawatts electricity there. Dead. Fried by a bolt of lightning. A fitting end. It's finally over.
Uh, they never die. These friggin' ridiculous guys. No time for this now. The escape craft is just up ahead. The stretch. Oh, the escort part is always annoying. With Ava. We can do it. Everyone's just like, ignore Volgan. He was a meanie anyway. And the frame rate in this game. I hope the frame rate is better in the in the next version. Probably not, but anyway. <laughs> just killed them all now they're talking say what come on what the hell how do I keep missing <laughs> this rocket goes wherever it chooses I think be thinking of sex at a time like this, Mark. Come on. Get your head out of the gutter, Mark. We're not going anywhere. Stop them. Over here. I can't hit shit, guys. I'm so bad right now. I can hit that guy up there. Cool. That's sick. Okay. Lazarevo. They hit the walls anyway. Lazarevo. Why 
are you so invincible? God damn it. Man. Wait, where is... And they switched out the gun I wanted to keep. Damn it. Hold on tight. celebrating yet we're leaking fuel damn it tank shot up crap do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Fine, plot armor. We have to get away from here, Eva. Let's go. Leave me. Eva! The boss is waiting for you. You have to go. Give me a gun. No, we're getting out of here. If we're still far away from the lake, I'll never make it. I can't believe this. Uh-huh. I never thought I'd see you act this week. What do you mean? Listen to me, Eva. We're doing this together. No, you... Eva! I need you. Say that one more time. I need you. I need you. I can't fly the wig by myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. I 
guess I'd better help you out. <laughs> Kind of like get a bunch of food for her here now. You're lucky to have me. It's annoying because I hate having to escort her, but that's okay. We'll get over it. Snake, can you hear me? Paramedic, thank God. Eva's been seriously hurt. So have you. Luckily, I think her organs are all intact, but... Calm down, Snake. Calm down? You'll both be fine as long as you get the proper emergency treatment. But you're the only one who can do this, understand? So you've got to calm down. Right. Okay. Okay. Now let's open up the survival viewer and treat the injury. Do you have supplies with you? I'm running kind of short. Then by switching the survival viewer over to Eva, you can treat her wounds too. Now get to work. Oh, and Snake, I'm pretty sure you know this already. But if you don't have enough supplies for the both of you, your wounds come first. Huh? Do you get my meaning, Snake? You've still got a mission to complete. Yeah, I know what I have to do. Snake? Like this. I'm running kind of short. I have max everything. What is he talking about? Can you walk? Yeah, I think so. It's different from the Mauser. When you're using a two-hand grip, you have to be careful where you put your hands or your fingers will get burned by the exhaust gas from the cylinder gap. Beautiful Swift indeed. All right, finally. Okay, we can get some supplies now. Fucking ringing me, leave me alone. Flash! Fuck's sake, go away. Snake, are you alright? No, I'm not, because you're annoying me. Fuck off. What about Eva? I healed her up. She can manage. Good. Snake, you'll take the lead and break through the enemy's line of defense. No shit! Eva will ordinarily be following behind you. If you lie on your belly, she'll lie down as well. If you slip and fall off a cliff, she'll follow right behind. You can call out to Eva by pressing the action button. Head to the lake along with Eva. Eva. Yucky mushrooms.
this tastes like crap. <laughs> God, I have like no food. I didn't pick up any after I got tortured. It tastes like crap. I don't think I need the RPG anymore. Let's use some clay more in this bit, maybe. These guys keep coming on. They just they just keep duplicating themselves. But even though you killed the leader, there's still lunatics coming after you like. Can't place the mine until you're across. Alan Wake remaster? Oh, really? Damn. Yeah, because Raccoon gifted for me to get that. I didn't get it yet. And she could be slower, you know. Come on, what are you doing? All right, let me feed her. All these he healing are just wraps there. <laughs> yes, what do you want now, you dickhead? Snake, the lake is just. Yeah, I know how to fucking do that, okay? Cheers. Yeah, that's pretty good, Drew.
All right. Well, that's the annoying bit done. Now the next bit, I just have to take them all out before she enters the area, which is easy enough. I have a camouflage is garbage, so spirit. Why is the spirit so high? It's not fucking high at all. What are you doing? This game is lying to me. I didn't do that. Why did it? Excuse me. Let me finish this guy first. Oh, fuck you guys. You guys are all worthless human beings. Get out of here. Not even human beings. You're just fucking NPCs. You must be. Come here, you. Hey, Outer Heaven. Get down. Lip's sake. I'm not able to aim straight. Yeah. Where'd you go? Guys, I'm in shit shape, lads. I'm in shit shape. Take your time. Take your fucking time, like. There's no rush. Not like I just took on the whole fucking army by myself. While you just sat on your arse, huh? Tiger camo? Yeah. Thank you. I like my cosplay. Right, I'll heal you. Give her all the good stuff. Can I have seconds? Hey, you can have this. Enjoy that. Yeah, I've lost my appetite. Yeah.
Man, lady. Stay down. Soldiers have the best camo in the game. Let me just wait for my health to go back up a bit. True, stop bragging, huh? Soldiers do have a nice camo, to be fair. They really do. I'm surprised we didn't get their camo. I mean, we got the, the officer outfit, but we didn't get, like, a normal soldier outfit. Got too much health I need to get back. Damn them guys. Why do they have to attack me? This one is supposed to double the natural life recovery. It's fucking doing shite right now. Well, it is. It's doing anything. A hundred gifted subs. I mean, hard it was on PS2. Yeah. Well, it was definitely harder because of the graphics. Or the more slightly blurrier graphics, I guess. With all these other green shrubs here. That's why I always use thermal goggles in this area. <laughs> See, there's another dude over there. I got half health. That should be enough. Eight point three nine. Oh, is that the codec for that area? <laughs> Healing frequency. Or is that just is that just a radio like songs? Or does it actually heal your your body? Come on, Snake. Come on, Snake. We made it. We made it. Over there. It's the boss, isn't it? I'll go get the wig ready to take off. Right. Wig. I'll leave you two alone. But come back in one piece, okay?
promise me. All oh, right. Yeah, I'm playing on hard difficulty, so. end isn't it beautiful it's almost tragic when life ends it gives off a final lingering aroma light is but a farewell gift from the darkness to those on their way to die i've been waiting snake for a long time waiting for your birth your growth and the finality of today Boss, why are you doing this? Why? To make the world one again. The world used to be whole. But with the end of the Second World War, the <laughs> philosophers began to fight amongst themselves, boss, and the so world boss. was torn apart. The Cobras, my comrades, who trained and fought alongside me, were torn apart as well. Might skip one cutscene in the middle here. The foibles of politics and the march of time can turn friends into enemies just as easily as the wind changes. Ridiculous, isn't it? Ridiculous. Yesterday's ally becomes today's opposition. And this Cold War? Think back. When I was leading the Cobras, America and Russia were fighting together. Now. Consider whether America and Russia will still be enemies in the 21st century. <laughs> what about now? I don't know about now, guys. Enemies change Touchy along subject. with the times, the flow of the ages, and we soldiers are forced to play along. Forced to play along. I didn't raise you and shape you into the man you are today just so we could face each other in battle. A soldier's skills aren't meant to be used to hurt friends. So then what is an enemy? Is there such a thing as an absolute timeless enemy? There is no such thing, and never has been. And the reason is that our enemies are human beings like us. They can only be our enemies in relative terms. The world must be made whole again. The philosophers must be reunited. No stinger missile in this, Trevor. I will devote my skills to that purpose. And with the colonel's money, I will achieve that end. Just as I once created the Cobras. They are my family. I may no longer be able to bear children, but I still have a family. It was November 1st, 19... All right, I'm then, skipping that one. two years ago, I faced the sorrow. My old comrade in battle. He was my friend. But one of us had to die. I was left with no choice. The sorrow gave his life for me. There is no enmity between us. One must live... And one must die. That was the mission. The ones who gave me that mission were the philosophers. Beckon philosophers. Bunch of ages in the twentieth century. The true holders of power. Alright, skip on that. Look at this scar. This is proof that I was once a mother. Ouch. I gave up my body and my child for my country. There is nothing left inside me now. I don't know why they cut her all the way up top nothing there. Like, <laughs> the child is all the way down here. No hatred, yet there's a big, no huge zigzag. And yet sometimes at night, Butchers. I can still feel the pain creeping up inside me. Slithering through my body like a snake. Lalilule lo. Patriots. I've never talked this much about myself before. Thanks. Thanks for listening to me. I've 
your content. Sneak. Commence the operation. I raised you. I loved you. I've given you weapons, taught you techniques, endowed you <laughs> True. With There is nothing more for me to give you. All that's left for you to take is my life by your own hand. One must die and one must live. No victory, no defeat. The survivor will <laughs> carry on the fight. Damn it, Kojima. It is our destiny. The hell, bro. The one who survives will inherit the title of boss. Will inherit the title the of Hideo title of Kojima. Will face greatest game developer ever battle. made. I'll Beam. give you ten <laughs> minutes. In ten minutes, Migs will come and bomb the hell out of this place. If you can beat me in less than ten minutes, you'll be able to escape in time. East Let's Walker. make this the greatest ten minutes of our lives, Jack. Boss. You're a soldier. Boss. Finish your mission. Prove your loyalty. Face me. Face me. I, I forget. You press triangle here Let's or circle? See what you're made of. I think it's circle you're supposed to press here. I always mix it up. It's circle or Move triangle. Or you're dead. It's circle. Damn, I should have put this on before I started this. on the splitter one that looks the coolest unnecessary okay chill chill with all the shooting wait for the bush sound and hold circle hold circle okay yeah i wasn't sure if you just tap it or hold it bush sound <laughs> Oh yeah, she broke my, broke my arm. Where'd she go? There she is. I can't see a blooming thing with that. like how I originally did the fight. I just started crawling around like here for ages. It if fails then you tap really fast. Are you fucking serious now? <laughs> oh, I missed the third shot. Great job. Where did you go? <laughs> Where did you go? out of ammo there should be some around here but i forget where are these logs maybe killed her using rpgs <laughs> over b it's definitely one way to do it what can i flash grenade her probably would just come after me And 
hitting against the wall and I'm like 75 percent can't see me can you fool the chief she comes after me here there you are nice I got it Ah, worked. It worked. I waited for the whoosh sound, and it worked. Brace ah, shit. Coming again. Got it. You're better than I am. Damn right I am. Damn it, bullets. Where are you? Oh. Wait, that snake is a different snake, I think. He's like... Snake Solidus. Haha, <laughs> nice. That's damn good. Solidus snake, eh? How convenient. There he is. Shit. You did it so quick there, I, I didn't respond in time. Run quick. Gaseous. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Someone mentioned that to me before. Where did you go? It's like five more minutes. <laughs> there you are. Brace yourself. Shit. <clears throat> Move or you're dead. any of the ammo i must be blind oh. oh i'm gonna die man i have no health oh wait life medicine i keep forgetting to use that man, why couldn't they have dropped some more ammo jerks first real quick hey Justin yeah true no got it Probably the easiest way to beat her, really. Just doing that. Because otherwise, then you have to deal with her, like, shooting you constantly. Yeah! Alright, now I just have to deal with Ocelot. Take this. Keep it safe. It's our... 
since it's the end, we might as well put on our gloves, guys. Pull the trigger, guys. How can I do it? The boss is so awesome. There's only room for one boss and one snake. I am. But I don't want to shoot her. I love Lori, or the actress, voice actress Lori Allen. She did such a good job, man. No. Can't look at it. I can't look at it. <laughs> can't look at it. Wait, what button do I press? <laughs> Shit, I forgot how to play it. Wait, it is. Wait. Hell, I pressed it ages ago. <laughs> Did I break the game, or was it, is it just normal that it takes that long? <laughs> Justin. Wrong path? Nah. Well, maybe. Prodigy's come to say hello. Prodigal horse. Like, that's supposed to be the horse in Peace Walker, isn't it? Or is it a different horse? What the hell? Turned into a snake. Maybe that's the gassiest snake. Evil channel. <laughs> well, I do play Metal Gear Solid here and there, yeah. MGS1 is my favorite game of all time, so. The old snake cosplay? Now that'd be hard to do. Plus, I have to, like, <laughs> change my hair color. Snake? Are you okay? Snake? Yeah. Now for the longest lake ever. Or river. River slash lake. I told you you could trust me. I don't trust you. Snake! 
Ocelot. We're not done yet. That's going to depressurize the cabin, yeah. I love how their clothes, like, are moving with the wind. It looks so funny. Beat him up. Take that, you punts. Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. The basics? That means I crouch a little lower. up a few new moves huh. it doesn't feel right to shoot an unarmed man but I'll get over it Eva If those guns were full, they'd both be dead. What do you say to one last showdown? Yeah, all right. Which is the right gun again? I keep forgetting. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but... Small cutscene change. What's your name? Snake. No. Not that name. You're not a snake, and I'm not an ocelot. We're men with names. My name is Adamska. What's yours? John. Wouldn't you be like, oh, you're Adam. Well, John. <laughs> Your name, but I won't forget it. John, that sounds very familiar, guys. 
Come on. Come on. Time to do the duel. Trickery. <laughs> Just like an ocelot, huh? It's a blank. Ah, oh, that was fun. <laughs> Till we meet again, John. See ya, Adam. Like leaving him in the middle of the river. Hope he can swim. <laughs> or else he's fecked, so he's. Did we get to the end of the river yet? Swift on the original PS2 two version, they had like the cutscene theaters. He couldn't find his slippers anywhere. How long was the car arrive? Five hours. Where's the old <laughs> Ted? The old <laughs> The old <laughs> is upstairs to the left. Imagine this part with QTE here. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. No out. What are we gonna do? We've come too far to let them stop us now. Those things have got to be armed. It's no use. There's no way we can outmaneuver them. They're gonna shoot us down. We were so close. Weapon systems on. Locked on target. I got towed. <laughs> Maverick, yeah. Volk 19, this is Control. Stand by for a direct order from the chairman. Volk 19, return to base immediately. Do you read me? This is a direct order from Comrade Khrushchev. Return to base immediately. Volk 19, do you copy? Understood. Aborting mission. RTB. All right, Robin Atkin Downs. He's everywhere in this game. <laughs> Look. The Migs are turning back! Woo! Whoa! Well done, Snake. 
The MiG's disengaged. Most likely under orders from Khrushchev. Is this his way of helping us? Who knows? Maybe he didn't want things to get messier than they already are. Or maybe he just wanted us to owe him one. The important thing is, you made it out alive. As long as Khrushchev is with us, I don't think they'll be coming after you. It should be smooth sailing all the way to Alaska. I'm sending someone out to Kalina Base to meet you. To meet me? The DCI and the President himself are waiting at Langley. Don't keep them waiting. Don't keep them waiting. That was just all cutscenes, really, isn't it? I'm taking off my bandana because I'm itchy as hell. Save data? But it's kind of pointless saving now. Wait till after. I mean, I could just in the stream now anyway, but <laughs> it's mostly just cutscenes here. Hurry up. Yeah, man, I don't know why it takes so long to save. They're not like that big save files. So what are you going to do now? Go back to the KGB? What do you want me to do? Do you ever think about coming back to America? I can't go back. I've left America behind me. But you saved this country. I didn't do it alone. Didn't do it alone. And I still owe you a dinner. A dinner? Is that part of your mission too? Or is it an order? Or is it an invitation? Hmm. Or a proposal? I don't take orders from anyone now. Well, people are voting for the cutscenes, so. Yes, we're watching the cutscenes. <laughs> You're my dinner, <laughs> Eva. <laughs> You mean like you do Frenchmen? I don't think he'd be saying that swift to be fair. I think he's too badass to be like, yay. Bunch of horny lads in chat, I tell you. Bunch of horny lads. Scholars tell us that the first fly in history was the snake in the book of Genesis. In that story, it was Eve who was tempted by the snake in the Garden of Eden. But this time around, it was I who tempted the snake and got away with the forbidden fruit of knowledge. Forgive me, snake.
apologize. I wasn't sent by Khrushchev. I'm not a KGB spy, and I never worked for the NSA. Lies. I'm an agent of the People's Republic of China for the General HQ Second Department of the People's Liberation Army. It was all a lie. I tricked you. And I'm sorry. How do we not find like the real Ava then? Eva. Philosophers still exist in China, too. You see, my mission was to find out where Volgan was hiding the philosopher's legacy and steal it. So I infiltrated his base as a KGB spy. Fourth of July. The two NSA codebreakers who defected in 1960 were actually both men. The real Adam never showed up at the meeting place. Saving me the trouble of having to eliminate him. Hi, Honduran. <laughs> I sneaked in by pretending I was Eva. And you and Sokolov and Volgan, you all believed me. 95? Wait, that's still really hot, though. legacy was originally held in common between the US, Soviet Union, and China. We couldn't let the Russians and the Americans take it all for themselves. The Chinese government had its eye on the legacy, too. Are you barbecuing some I got the film containing the legacy steaks with friends, Drew, or? And also the nuclear missile launch data from the Shagohad. Five years ago, the Soviet Union stopped supplying us with nuclear weapons technology. Since then, China's Liandon easing hydrogen bomb and space rocket projects have fallen behind. But I'm gonna get naked like snake here, guys. To develop its own nukes. We'll create a deterrent force to rival those of the US and Soviet Union. Everything has gone according to plan, thanks to your help. Ow! I too am one of the philosophers. Uh, now, now, now. Agent of the philosophers, a graduate of one of their charm schools. I was raised in a joint U.S. Soviet Chinese facility to become a sleeper agent. Go down. <laughs> this was before the war. Back then, they were collecting children from all over the world. As a result, I'm indistinguishable from a native-born American. So it didn't surprise me when you and Volgan couldn't tell the difference. Ribs. She knew right from the beginning. <laughs> Pull out your Before the war, she was at one of the philosopher's schools, too, as an instructor. The boss was the only one I couldn't fool. She was the only one who knew I was a fake. She told me everything. Everything? Why did she open her heart to me like that? the time I couldn't understand it but now I think I do snake oh she oh yeah you to know the truth oh she chose me to tell you I can breathe that's why she saved my life I've lied to you so many times but not this time my orders from the government were to obtain the legacy and to eliminate everyone who knew the truth about what happened. In other words, I'm supposed to kill you. Supposed to kill me? You bitch. But I can't do it. Not because we loved each other. And not because you saved my life. But because I made a promise to the boss. And I intend to keep it. For the dollar. I just wanted you to know. And you have to live. Seven votes. <sighs> Snake, listen to me. She didn't no. betray the United States. No, 
Far from it. She was a hero who died for her country. She carried out her mission knowing full well what was going to happen. Mama. Self-sacrifice. Because that was her duty. Hey, you're welcome, you bunch of losers in here. Oh, wait, we can see Ocelot here, right? Magic trick. You are above even the boss. I hereby award you the title of Big Boss. You are a true patriot. Oh, there he is. Like, I'm not shaking your hand, dickhead. Does it look like I want my picture taken? President Sully's gone. Yeah, the different voice actor here. I'm not shaking your hand. Go fuck yourself. the qualities of a soldier and an agent the boss's defection was a ruse set up by the u.s government it was all a big drama staged by washington so they could get their hands on the philosopher's legacy and the boss was the star of the show they planned it so that they could get the legacy that colonel volgan inherited and Justin. destroy the shagohat at the same time only a legendary hero like the boss could have earned Volgan's trust. Now you can see where Ocelot is. Look out the window there. He's right there. Look at him. ...was to be her greatest mission. Everything was going according to plan. But then something happened that no one could have predicted. Colonel Volgan fired an American-made nuclear warhead at Sokolov's research facility. Khrushchev demanded that the U.S. government provide proof that it wasn't involved. They couldn't just abort the operation to steal the legacy. So the operation itself was greatly expanded and revised. The authorities in Washington knew that in order to prove its innocence, they'd have to get rid of the boss. And that one of their own would have to do the job. The public couldn't be allowed to find out about it. Not ever. This, they concluded, would be the best way to keep the whole thing under wraps. A great character, the boss. Allowed to come back home alive, and she wouldn't be allowed to kill herself. Her life would be ended by her most beloved disciple. That was the way the government wanted it. That was the mission she was given, and she had no choice but to carry it out. Her death. Was a duty she had to fulfill. Out of duty, she turned her back on her own comrades. A lesser woman would have been crushed by such a burden. The taint of disgrace will follow her to her grave. Future generations will revile her. In America, as a despicable traitor with no sense of honor. And in Russia, as a monster who unleashed a nuclear catastrophe. She will go down in official history as a war criminal. And no one will ever understand her. That was her final mission. And like a true soldier, she saw it through to the end. And the PS2, what a beast of a machine. But I think she wanted you of all people to know the truth in these games oh yeah 
Unreal. She wanted to live on in your memory. Not as a soldier, but as a woman. But she was forbidden to tell you herself. And that's why she told me. <laughs> yes, we've Snake. <laughs> History will never know what she did. No one will ever learn the truth. Her story, her debriefing, will endure only in your heart. <laughs> Everything she did, she did for her country. She sacrificed her life and her honor for her native land. She was a real hero. You guys ready? She was a true patriot. Hours, Jesus, it's almost eleven. Well, the cut, these cutscenes was like half an hour or more or something. The DARPA chief, Hanoi. Major Zero. Les enfants terribles. I can't remember. I think this is copyrighted, this song, so I'm going to just mute it for now. Um, can't skip this, right? To wait for this before I get the Adam. The Adam. Song. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the last time I played four was because you asked me to play it, I think. Because you never saw me play it, you know? It's almost half eleven here. Probably take tomorrow off, maybe. Do some Final Fantasy 16 tomorrow evening. We see what happens. Four or two now you have, yeah. I played this game, uh, was it three years ago or something? This is the last time I played it, which is crazy to think. And I think I played it like four or five times in a row or something. Maybe I should play the other games soon, but I don't know if I should just wait till the collection comes out. Play them all. Hopefully they didn't they don't botch this collection. I really hope they don't. It's always like in the back of your head. It's like, will they affect this collection up? Well they could feck up the remake too, I suppose. So. <laughs> Just one love trophy sports. Is that is that certain, uh, Drew? Is it? 
That'd be cool, actually, to get the trophies in that. My favorite game ever. Getting the trophies for that will be a pleasure. <laughs> be a damn pleasure. It probably won't be too hard. I can't imagine they'll make it hard. It would be nice if they had a platinum, but... I feel like it's going to be like RE4, where there's no platinum. It's just going to be a bunch of trophies. Since there's like MGS 1, 2, 3 and more bonus games. Yeah, there's been so many great lads in the stream which can't cope anymore. <laughs> Why are you saying that all of a sudden? Oh, I've got something in my throat. I'm listening to the song that you guys can't hear. Hello. Yeah, extreme is just rough. Especially like you can only have like one ration for the whole game. It's pretty rough. VR missions trophy? Oh god, no. All those VR mission stuff is just rough. Yeah, I have, an, I have a video to upload tomorrow, so I'll premiere that. But uh, other than that, Final Fantasy 16 probably. Oh, that game's going to take forever to beat. Yoji Shinkawa. I'm just waiting for the damn Ocelot friggin... Like, why can't I skip this? You can do extreme on MG's one, but it will be awesome. Well, you know how the using Bosch in that sentence doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it will be us. Awesome. I read that that wrong. That's why. MGS two VR missions. I want to play the MGS one on VR missions. Those ones are awesome as well. Like MGS two ones are bloody hard. I'm not sure which is easier though, really. It took me forever to get the Platinum and MGS2 because of those damn VR missions. Ugh, man. Same with like Peace Walker. Peace Walker is just a nightmare to do without like friends and stuff. Like I assume they're not gonna put... Well, we don't know the collection number two yet, so we don't know if like the Peace Walker stuff will be multiplayer again, like it was for PS3. What? Yeah, exactly. You get to play as the ninja. That's like so good, Drew. Playing as Gray Fox. Uji Shinkawa owes you a fiver? What is that? Great bunch of lads watching the cut, watching the credits here. <laughs> Just watching the credits. Dun 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 dun. dun. Boom. Da 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 da. Jamie. Yes, Grozny Grad and the Granin Research Facility have both been wiped out without a trace. Yeah, that'd be nice, Drew. I understand, sir, but they were necessary sacrifices. Yes, the CIA has taken care of the boss themselves. I believe the White House will be satisfied. Khrushchev is finished. Your time has finally arrived. Yes. The American president is relying on us to keep a lid on the whole affair. We've got him by the balls. 
It should make a valuable trump card in future negotiations. Yes, Chief Director, of course. I'll keep the KGB informed. Yes, it's me. The boss has accomplished her mission. The philosopher's legacy is now safely with us, in America's hands. America. With this money, yes, the philosophers can finally be revived. The film we handed the Chinese was a fake. Peking must be in an uproar right about now. I'm afraid so. Only half the money has made it back to the United States. The KGB must still have part of the legacy. Yes. Exactly. Yes, the weapon has been reduced to ashes. That's right. Grozny Grad has been obliterated by the Davy Crockett we brought in as well. Rocket. Yes, that was the boss's work too. Speaking of which, I've obtained something from Granin that you might find interesting. It's a revolutionary new nuclear attack system. Snake's Revenge? Perhaps it might just come in handy someday. That's the one that Kojima didn't make, right? Yes, we have John, I mean Snake, to thank for that. Khrushchev believed it as well. Yes, they bought our story. I don't think they'll be making a fuss. The secondary alert has been lifted as well. And the Soviets still haven't discovered my true identity. They have no idea that I've been triple crossing them. I will continue my activities as a contact for the new government. Triple crossing? Yes. It appears that no one knew that I was Adam. Well, you did tell Snake that you were Adam, so... Of course. I'm always at the CIA's disposal. Mr. Director. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so cheesy, that is. Down, out, now, now. Panther. See what happened here. Ten hours, thirty-six minutes. Eight saves, seventy continues. Forty-three alerts. Yeah, that was bad. One hundred and thirty-six people killed. Damn. That must be mostly at the end of the game because I didn't kill that much on the first start. Seriously injured fifty-seven times. Is that me or them? Twelve health bars. Well, that's me. Yeah. Two life medicine. Hats and animals captured, meals eaten, special item not used. Right. Snake eater. He's the snake. The snake that eats more snakes. I don't know if I'll do that that the hold up only run that suggested by Larvaris and that sounds so hard, but it'd be so cool to try doing that. Of course I'd be stressing myself out doing that the whole time. Alright. Well, let's see into that, guys. I'm, I'm done being in a big, hot outfit. I need to go in the stream. All right, you already sang that. Go away.
sweating like crazy right now. Uh, thanks everybody for hanging out. Thanks for the follows. Thanks to Kyle for the dono 11 hours ago. <laughs> if you're still there. And uh, thanks everybody else for watching. Hope you enjoyed bro, how much you watched. Uh, it was fun to dress up. Big boss again. <laughs> Though it's sweaty ass weather. I'm gonna go and relieve myself of this sweaty gear. Am, 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 am. Stop saying am, boss. Jeez, get over it. Yes, have a good one. Yeah, you can pre order that collection. Yeah, I know. I haven't done it yet. But yeah, thanks, guys. Have a good one.